I didn't go poop this time. I pooped earlier in the day like a responsible adult. I did it. I was just late for unrelated reasons, but I remembered to do that and I remembered to clean beforehand. Gus, are we nothing but a laxative to you? Can I think on that one before I give you an answer, Haley? <laughs> what up, dude? Hey, Renama. Hey, Haley. Hey, Baby J. Angie. Allie Forever. T. Wayne. How you doing? Coffee Black Canada Dry Hands. Hello. Hey Gus, I hope you had a good poop. I didn't. There's a current poll going. Is the main man pooping? Shocking. I'm voting no. I'm voting no. I didn't mean to influence your little poll over here, you dangers. <laughs> Never seen that one before. Dangers. That sounds like a new uh, new sitcom airing on a ABC. It goes right from Goldberg's to the dangers, dude. Matt Zachman is gifting a sub to Jake Gone Wild 742, dude. Thank you very much, Matt Zachman. I appreciate it. Where to get sweater? I got, you know what? I'm gonna be real with you, dude. An Instagram ad got me a couple years ago. I was like, shit, ah, I gotta get that, yeah. So it's kind of a cheaper material. It's a little like stretchy because you can even see like the print get a little lighter. Uh, excuse me, on the house and stuff, you know? But it's cool. It's lasted a few years. It's good enough, dude. Matt Zachman and 404 Chance getting us close to a little opening hype train. 404, now's the real question. Did you wipe? I hope you're doing well, sir. I hope you're doing well too, 404 Chance. I didn't poop this time. You guys know I would be banging at the door here to tell you that I pooped. I didn't do it. I did not do it. Ted is starting the hype train, gifting a sub to Im Imanon. Imanon. Thank you, Ted, for doing that, dude. I really appreciate it. Cheers. It's good to see everybody. Bruce, Bombarian, Atreides Nuts. How you doing? Hey, Ted. Hey, Conovan. Getting the luck today, dude. We're got we got some good luck. Last night was astronomical. I'm gonna be honest with you. I went and got some more celebrations today. I'm finding this cheap as shit. Dude, I am... 
weird little like kind of disconnect that's happening right now. In town here, I'm finding celebrations ETBs at some good sources, even pre the like, hey, bulk special kind of deal stuff that I do sometimes because I know the card folks like people here at shops in town and stuff. Even pre that, I'm finding them at least five to ten dollars under what you can get them for on like TCG Player and eBay and shit right now. Typically when you go to secondhand collectible card or game stores and stuff, you're gonna find even a bit more of a markup and stuff that the store adds on. I'm kind of surprised. I'm kind of surprised. Inflit and last night was very, very rad, dude. <laughs> Ban the horse goes, so, a bit awkward, but uh, when are you getting one of those sexy garage streams again? Next week. Probably Monday, actually. I'm so stoked, dude. Sven has put in so much work to that garage. I've been helping him with some stuff, too. We are going to have one on Sven's Twitch channel probably next week. We've got... Oh, I, I don't even want to tell you. I'm not even going to spoil it. I'm, I'm telling you, it will be night and day from the first one, too. Multiple cams a full set like an entire you guys I'm not even gonna say it I'm not even gonna say it but it's gonna be next week it's gonna be cool as shit honestly like that is gonna be one of the most fun things we do for streaming shit this year spin Haley how you doing King Jester by the way Mad Max I already said hey to Haley I rescind it take that back Haley I can't be giving out too many of those fuck that shit I hope you're doing bad I'm just kidding I hope you're doing well guys can we please name the garage garagely yes Next question. No, dude, honestly, I was like processing that. I was like, yeah, no, I can't think of a better one. Grodgely. I like that one. That's a good calm there, uh, Chewiest Baby. Sweet. Matt Zachman. Hey, Gus, once again, just checking to make sure that you get this message. Let me know. Thank you. Um, Yeah, I did receive it. I did receive it, Matt Zachman. Thank you very much. God's Garage. The Circus Peanut. Sorry, I'm late. I had to watch the end of the Wild game. Oh, who won? I don't follow hockey, but Minnesota Wild, baby. Let's go. How you doing, Imperial Hype? We just we just fired it up. Uh, good to see you, Matt Zachman. All right, thanks, man. <laughs> thanks, Matt Zachman. I appreciate it. A fellow Minnesotan. There you go, dude. Hey, Windex and Whiskey. It's been a year now, dude. Happy anniversary, you handsome fella. Well, happy anniversary to you. Thanks for a year. Here's to another year of true love there, Windex. Let's set all these bulk ones over here. We got some heat last night is what I was saying here before the hype train started. The Celebrations ETB that we opened last night was honestly, I think it's probably the best ETB I've ever, ever gotten uh, of Celebrations. Maybe ever in any set, probably. Um, I got the pulls. I set them right here. Let me just grab them a second. That was just a little one for free for you guys. All right, let's go to the gamer cam over here. Bink. I'm thinking the garage should be named Cornelius. <laughs> Care to elaborate? Care to elaborate? Also, thank you very much for the sub and uh, bit love and shit on the hype train, everybody. I really fucking appreciate it. We're getting some more heat today. This stuff last night, uh, these four big hits, and I mean card saver big hits, were all from one Celebrations ETB, which in total we had, including sleeved cards, 14 hits from one ETB. 14 hits in one ETB, and I'm not even including any of the like five or six sword and shield packs. None of those. Just the celebrations packs, dude. Gus, please pull something epic soon. I'm a sleepy boy and I do not know how long I can last. That's okay, my dude. Hey man, I realized I was back to see gave me a bit too that much the last couple New Vegas streams. Sorry about that, bro. That's okay. You know what? No worries. No worries. I appreciate you saying it. Not even necessary. I know you're always really excited about New Vegas. I'm excited about New Vegas, dude. We always love having you there, Natarod. Ted, hey guy who pooped before stream. Kick it off. Uh, hey guy who pooped before stream. I mean, hey Gus, uh, I got another V Star Universe box because that set is so damn fun. I think you did the right thing there, Ted. It is very, very enjoyable. I hope you're paying good prices for them. Here, I'll show you. This all right here, one single ETB. One of them. Michael Mc96, thank you very much, dude. We got the Mega Rayquaza EX out of Celebrations. We got the Birthday Pikachu. We got Blastoise. And the Charizard. One ETB. And that's only four of the total 14 hits that we got where, e where I'm even including like the smaller sleeve ones, dude. Absolutely nuts. Gus Nye, the science guy. Gus, Gus, Gus. There you go, Joe Obermo. 
What up, Snowblitz? How you doing? Control Alt Dustin, Reaper, Barrel Rider, how you doing? New Vegas stream? I would say we would probably do either a split New Vegas and then card stream, most likely tomorrow, or just a New Vegas stream. We'll suss it out. I think the vibe tends to be like a couple of hours of Fallout, boom, right into some Pokemon and Goofy card shit, too. I got some new Goofy cards, by the way. Let me show you. Some we've seen before, but I just got... Ugh, more versions of them. They keep going on sale at this little collectible shop, so I keep picking them up. Well, don't forget, your boy picked up some more Cinderella cards. We got a, a holographic Cinderella's castle last night. Hoping to get to that one or better. Uh, picked up some more of these, too. You guys seem to get a kick out of these memes. We got the Dick Tracy Tops movie cards. A little shit post of a goofy, shitty movie. Dick Tracy... And we got four more Hellboy movie card packs. Looking for some autographs today. This one on top, I felt specifically, that feels heavy as hell. I don't know if you can weigh Hellboy movie packs published by Inkworks, but you see, well, you know, we'll figure it out. We'll see if we get a little Ron Perlman or something, Gus. When is the next New Vegas Live on the Streets of Las Vegas stream coming? Oh, shit. They let you play New Vegas in Vegas? I could just go to this... Strip and shoot laser weapons up in the air indiscriminately? Okay. I mean, freaking all right. Oh, look at this. Here, here's another heater from last night, dude. This was the last pack magic that we had from the stream. Fucking last pack, just to sign off. Alt Art Rayquaza VMAX, dude. Like, come on. Like, come on, dude. To some extent. Spin Haley, Cinderella and Hellboy. Hellboy. <laughs> Hellboy Rella. That took. That sounds like a condiment. Uh, do they have Mick and Rella? <sighs> Keep it together. It's okay. Not gonna shrimp myself. Not gonna ship myself. That card looks like a rave. It kind of does look like a rave. Like Rayquaz is up on stage and the like cannons are going off. <sighs> Penis Tracy cards. Pretty neat, Joe. I like it. Keep it in the pocket. We're gonna put the two Rayquazas together. And I want to get birthday Pikachu. Actually, you know what? No. Have faith. We gotta have faith in ourselves. Fuck that. We're making a brand new back wall tonight. A brand new back wall. We gotta do it. I see it coming. I don't need to juice it with the old pulls from yesterday. We're pulling new ones. We're gonna fill this whole back wall up, dude. Hope you pull my favorite Glaceon tonight. Ooh, Astro. Which one is that? We did pull this Glaceon EX yesterday out of Fates Collide. We have some more of those packs today, too. I got four more of those. Whoa, this guy's crazy. Love the confidence, dude. What am I supposed to do, dude? How many Mews did we finish with last night? 31, correct? 31 Mews? Again, I told you, I need to go on Amazon and order a little click score thing here so we can keep the Mew Year account going. Gus, what are your three favorite cereals? I just had a bowl of Honey Nut Cheerios. That's an excellent one. Three favorite? I like uh, Lucky Charms. I like Berry Colossal Crunch with the Lucky Charm stuff in them. And I like Honey Bunches of Oats. Pretty good. Honorable mention, Raisin Bran Crunch. It's like a sugar cereal. I love Raisin Bran Crunch. Get the fuck out of here. Since it's in the... <laughs> I can't believe he just said Lucky Charms. Okay, sorry. Marshmallow Mateys, bro. Honey Bunches with the, with the strawberry, says Jason. I like that. So, you're probably pretty good. Cinnamon Toast Crunch for the win, says Person of Your Dreams. That's pretty good, too. Plus, you get the bonus cinnamon milk after that. Guys, I got some actually kind of fun stuff today here. I got some of the best stuff that we've been doing lately. I have no hidden fates right now. That's okay. We don't need one of those every day. Those stacked up. But I got some more Fates Collide today. A little pre-release stuff we can check out. Probably open that up. Uh, we got some more Silver Tempest for the background. Probably might not pop this open unless we need a good reserve thing. Um, I picked up like four more of these Celebration ETBs. In fact, this is the hit one right here tonight. I'm going to keep it there. We're going to open that first. Thicky, how you doing? I had a good day today. I'm in my good shirt. I showered. My hair's done. Look at the man. He's put together. Um, got another one of these. Champion's Path ETB right there. I fucking hate that set. I don't even know if I'm going to open it. I just want the Charizard. I want to keep looking. I hate it. Uh, I can't reach it right now, but I have Darkness Ablaze. It's kind of fun. It's not a crazy hot set. There is an awesome Charizard in there, though, but we're still going for it. And also, look at this. Here's a really fun one. This just came in. I got hooked up for this one for like 50 bucks. I'm pretty excited about it. If you know what I'm talking about, uh, you'll know that this is uh, this is a good pull. Meowth VMAX box. Here's the weird thing about this. Look at the year it came out. 
probably can't see it, but it says 2020. This is probably, I'd assume, the last release of this kind before the like giant pandemic pokey craze thing hit. Do you know what's in here? Again, I tell you, I spent 50 bucks on this. 2020. Four packs. First of all, Meowth VMAX, a great Pokemon classic character to be centered around. I don't even care. I have no idea what the promo cards are worth, but I think it's safe to say, say that they're probably at least, you know, one to a few bucks each. That's cool. It, it factors into the value. Anyway, these top two packs on the front, it's a goddamn Cosmic Eclipse double pack. Two different Cosmic Eclipses. Back here, a Unified Minds pack. And back here, a fucking XY Evolutions pack. Unreal. This pack alone right now, the X Evolutions median price, I think that's at least $25 a pack right now. I certainly see these for sale everywhere. Loose pack at secondhand stores for $30 a pack in person. Unreal. Each one of these packs are definitely worth over $10 in and of themselves. It's nuts. Like, that's fucking unreal. That's one of the best bits of selection in a modern thing ever. Huge tip. You see one of these fuckers around and it's $50. I mean, hell, I'd pay 60 bucks for this thing, probably. I honest to God would. Meowth VMAX, you see one of these 50 bucks? Get it. If you're a Pokemon investment person, get it. Matt Zachman, thanks for subbing up Chewiest Babies, by the way, dude. That's a good one. <laughs> Delicious. Thanks, Matt Zachman. Appreciate you, dude. Joe, have you tried telling him to get good? <laughs> Guy just got to say, says Control Out Dustin, I love the room that you're in. It's got Cozy Grandma's Den vibes. Way better than being blasted in the face with neon lights all the time. That's exactly what I was going for. I wanted a nice, cool... I mean, even the, like, white balance presets I'm using on this one and the, like, Skyrim Gamer Cam, it's a lot more golden, yellowy glow. I want it to be a little blue light uh, crank down mode. I don't like blue light heavy kind of stuff. Also tonight, we got to re-add that, like, cool rain gif in and shit. I don't know why the hell it got deleted on this asset thing, but... Hey, is that just Boston guy? I think it might be, dude. <laughs> I think Joe is just feeling more and more liberated to just shit on his son <laughs> all the time. Hey, Gus, my dumb as a bag of rocks son must be opening Pokemon packs wrong. No surprise there. He ain't exactly a winner. He hasn't pulled anything close to 31 Mews this year. As a matter of fact, he's pulled a big fat zero Mews. He may not be reliable, but at least he's consistent. Well, there you go, Joe. All our best from my family to yours. Powered by two down there on the... Hey, Ma, powered by twos on the television. You want me to tape it? I'll tape it. I'm taping it. Thank you, Powered by Two. I appreciate the Type Fiver. Also, Matt Zachman is subbing up not just Chewiest Babies, but also Aaron Wart. You guys got cool names tonight. And Cody Fisher Pope. Damn. These are action hero names. Thank you, Matt Zachman, for subbing up everybody over here, dude. And the 79s, dude. One more, says Matt Zachman. Thank you, Matt Zachman. Goddamn. I'm spitting my drink out there on the TV because we got one more person over here. Thank you very much for doing that. There we go. So excited for the children's overpriced called cardboard, says Control Alt Dustin. Please show us the children's overpriced cardboard. Do I have another ETB thing here for some overflow cards? In fact, I do. Brand new ETB box going in hot here. Filling that one up with some bulk. Matt Zachman hits the 250 sub club, bro. What the hell? Subbing up protagonistics. Cheers there, Matt. Appreciate you, dude. Ah, delicious. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Thank you so much, Matt Zachman. I really appreciate you doing that, man. That's really unnecessary, and it's super, super appreciated. So thank you. Hot milk, you go to bed right now. You telling hot milk to go to bed, bro? Did they need to? Did they, did they earn it? It's only fair. What are you drinking? I'm just drinking tap water right now in an old cup. So it looks cool, and it is cool, dude. The number not being squared away made me sad. Well, that's okay. I thank you so much for all the sub love, Matt Zachman. I appreciate you. I found a book full of Pokemon cards at a thrift shop today, says Sailor Goon, but turns out someone was keeping all their non-pulls in there. Damn it. Dang it. You know, I went into a tiny little small town thrift shop um, over Christmas break in uh, in Wisconsin and I went in there and I always like I don't know why I do it but this is the goofiest thing ever and it only confirms uh 
my stupid, like, okay, I knew there was a point to me doing this, but I'll tell you what happened. First of all, Huncho Cole says, Gus, I'm hammered right now, and I'm so happy you're streaming. Dude, we're gonna have a vibe tonight here, Huncho Cole. We're just opening Pokemon cards, getting blitz on a Thursday if you're doing it. If you're just eating snacks and drinking tap water, that's cool as shit, too. I'm doing that right now, except not the eating snacks part. I'll get on my fingers. Thank you, Huncho Cole. I, I hope you have a good night. Anyway, I go into the thrift stores, and every time I go in there, I go like, oh, I, I need to go right to the Pokemon, like to the toy stuff in case there's Pokemon. Somebody's going to beat me into here and get it first in a Wisconsin thrift store or some shit. I'm just like, I, I don't know why I think that's going to happen. Anyway, I go into there. There's a guy going around with a basket, and everything in his basket has Pokemon on it. And I was like, oh, no, dude, it finally happened, bro. I was like, no. And I was, like, following him around the store, not, like, stalking him like this all creepy or anything. But I was like, what is that motherfucker flying? I was like, oh, I'm seeing cards in there. I'm seeing cards. They're plastic sealed. Oh, no, God. Oh, shit. I didn't even get to see what kind they were. They could have been, like, modern stuff, but it was just, like, flipped over little like fucking promo cards in the plastic, you know? Like this, they look like this, you know? I was like, what, this could be anything! You know, it could be this! I don't know! Ugh! That and a 50 cent sticker on it, I was like, hey, please, no, dude! So I didn't get any of the Pokemon shit. It, it was the worst thing that could have possibly happened for my brain. Dark Gus Doppelganger, there you go, dude. Gus Thrift Store Stalker Johnson, hey! I did I did a few laps, so I did a few laps, Slim. I did a few laps, Conovan. It's not a big deal, dude. I did a few laps. I just surveyed the situation. I did it. Meanwhile, that guy was wondering why a gust station was following him. Bro, I ain't getting gust station tonight. I'm too good. I'm gonna give him the little thumbs up, and then I'm just post on Instagram, and then we're gonna open our first pack, okay? I'm gonna say, come open Pokemon. Cards, exclamation point. Dink. Come open some damn ass Pokemon cards, dang it. Oops, clicking this. And there we go. Reverse art, Alolan Gus. Move, thrifty stock. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sailor Goon says, I work in a pawn shop. You wouldn't believe the amount of people that come in with, like, unopened boxes not knowing how much they're worth. We have, like, four Evolution Sealed Boosters waiting to come out right now. Really? Do, what do you sell those kind of ones for there, Sailor Goon? Gus, please. Uh, your interaction feeds me and helps me become more unhinged. Like a snake's jaw. I require your attention. Every time I just say your name, Chewy's Babies, your jaw just goes, oh, <laughs> it falls off. Gus, you're for sure going Gus Station mode tonight. Where's the faith, bro? Ted, what the fuck? Ted, whoa! <laughs> what the fuck? Who, Honcho Cole? Bro, what are you doing, dog? Honcho Cole with a tight 20, huge sub bomb. Cheers. Oh my God, dude, we're getting silly on a Thursday. Huncho Cole, thank you, dude. Huncho Cole just goes, let's go. If you just got subbed up from Huncho Cole, please be sure to say thank you. My God, that was really generous. Thank you, dude. Cheers. Ah, delicious. Ooh, Huncho Cole, we're getting this Charizard out of here for you. I can feel it right now. Chewiest Baby says, bring out Stumpy. Oh yeah, I'll get you Stumpy right now. Look at him. He's, he's sitting right here. Can I lean him into the frame? Oh, dude, honestly, I could just turn the camera around. I got my little handheld. I'll show you Stumpy. I'll show him to you right now. I'll show you a, a rarely looked at little area, actually. Here we are. Let's turn that ISO up a little bit here. Check this one out. It's a lot less uh, warm lighting right now, but I usually put a lot of the excess code cards in and around Stumpy. There's the young man himself. I've got his antlers in child safety mode right now. They're pointed backwards because that way when I lean my head down in this area to pick up stuff I dropped, I don't go and hit myself right in the eye and then uh, lose vision. Here's some of the other stuff on the set we haven't really looked at for a while. We got the Great Messenger. Still have that absolutely super touching, one of the nicest bits of mail I've ever gotten. The note from earlier last year is still in there. I told you, I promised it would become a permanent part of the set that absolutely made my month, dude. We got this Horn of Gondor looking motherfucking thing here. We got 
uh, stuff and the beautiful lights around the tree and potion ingredients and sting and Hermione's wand and stuff. But anyway, they're stumpy. Nice, nice young man. Very gorgeous. Love you, stumpy. Hey, buddy. There we go. I heard a rumor somewhere that Gus is a skinwalker. All the evidence points to it. Yes, so, well, I choose to believe it. It's only fair. Pug, you gotta do it. Slumpy drowning, bro? Dude, he ain't drowning. He's drowning in them cards, dude. Do you not like that I am burying Stumpy? <laughs> Borderline neck deep in cards. Stumpy absorbs code cards for nutrients. Yeah, dude, he, he feeds by diffusion and shit, so... I put the code cards there, slowly just, like, slips into them. Easy. Ha, <laughs> dude! Inflit says, I saw in the Pokemon TCG subreddit a post about some, quote, a creepy guy following me around the thrift store. Pretty sure he's the Apple Hawkers kid? Oh, man, that's a bummer. You know what? I'll have the mods get right on that. <laughs> Fuck you, Inflit. That's a good meme. Dude, all right, Huncho Cole. We're getting the luck right now, my friend. Thank you again for doing that. That is some cool shit. That is some cool ass shit. I really appreciate that, dog. See if we can get another Celebrations ETB to be as successful as the one was last night. Anything hidden up here? No? There we go. There we go. Any packs? Nope, there we are. Oh, not even gonna pull out the promo card for it. Let's see what Sword and Shield packs they gave us in this one. Let's see how old these little ones are here. Oh, look at this, actually. So, first of all, Battle Styles, yeah, it's whatever. It's whatever. It's whatever. You know, we, we'll, we'll take them. Not we take those, but, like, you know, we'll take them. I gotta turn that ISO down. Here we go. Dicey Cast is literally fucking screaming at me. Oh my god! Enough with the talking! Make with the cards already! That's honestly a good point. I'll take it into consideration. Might need to deliberate on that one there for a couple minutes, though. Now we got Chilling Rain. And then we also have a Vivid Voltage. I'm not too upset about seeing those. And then this is kind of fun. Two Darkness of Blazes. That's one of the coolest looking packs ever. We got double Charizards on there too. So let's see if we can't get the uh, Charizard on the inside, dude. Matt Zachman's confirming the top pull in this set is the Alt Art Tyranitar. Oh, it's over a hundred bucks now? Kind of surprised. Wouldn't mind pulling that. In fact, nah, we're, we're not starting the stream on a damn battle styles, bro. We got to start on celebrations. Tight tenor in here for the packs. Let's see if we can make it happen. Huncho Cole, you ready for some heat tonight? Let's make it happen, dog. Thank you for instilling us with the sub luck. Gus, I'm sorry, but I'm betting shrimp within five packs, says Chewiest Babies. No, bro! Dude, I think I have that Tyranitar, too. What up, boy goofs? I, I think I have that Tyranitar. I think I pulled it last year, but I don't know. I mean, it, it, it would definitely be in the uh, good cards bin. I'd have to take that out of storage and rifle through it and see if I got it. All right, here we go. First pack. First pack. Let's see a heater. Kyogre. Proud on. Okay. I am absolutely going to start on a little classic collection. I don't have a problem with that. That's one of the cheaper ones. But it's still cool. Dawn fan. I'm just getting my light adjusted. A little Dawn fan there. Gosh, the text is hard to show up on camera there. Dawn fan. So nice. $1.25. I'm actually surprised that's over a dollar raw right now. Boom. Professor's research. All right, cool. Well, we're starting on a full art. You love it? A little classic collection one. What year is that originally from? 2010. Dawn Fan. It's kind of cool. Dawn Fan is a cool Pokemon. That is a very beautiful uh, character design. It's a real big ramp up from Fanpy, too. That gets cute to serious pretty quick. Quite a fan, says Goombachi. We got some Dawn Fan lovers here. Some Dawn Fan fans, bro. Boom. Set that one off to the side. How about another? Two for two. Celebrations pack. Let's make it happen. That I dude, honestly, other people have said that too. That professor's research card, it totally looks like he's offering you a smoke. Doesn't that look like a lit cigarette? That's awesome. Somebody said that I think like last year or whatever. I was like, I can't unsee that shit now, dude. Sailor Goon goes, Can y'all do a master class on how to get the prices in chat so quick? Honestly, I think it's a matter of uh, just having the tabs popped open on like the TCG uh, player price guide. There is a general grid per set so like somebody could have like a tab open of just oh gus is opening celebrations all right oh we got the magmar control f mag all right there's the price you know what i mean like it's it's pretty quick to snipe like that buy a second monitor just for tcg prices that's true boy goose they're double tapping 
Slim says, yep, exactly. Exactly. Matt Zachman goes, can confirm this is exactly what I'm doing. Thank you guys again for the price help. I really, I mean it too. Like, I know that there's a lot of folks that regularly help with that. Like Slim, Matt, Delta, you know, like, I, I appreciate the shit out of it. You know, Dojo, everybody. I, if you're ever just like... Damn it! Now I'm the now I'm the price guy and uh, kind of want just chill and shit. Like, dude, you could totally do that. I will never be like, what the fuck, you guys? Like, worst case scenario, I'm you know I would just look up any giant hit pulls that we got. I think we can ballpark most of the cards largely from a raw standpoint. But I appreciate it. I never want you to feel like, oh, this is an obligation. I want you to come here to be able to relax too. Don't tell me what to do, says Mad Zach. When I'll price cards if I want. Okay, God, the screaming. Oh, you pop my eardrum. Rystar is subbing up uh, Splendid Fella. Thank you, Splendid Fella, and thank you, Rystar, for joining us. Can you see this print line over here, too, by the way? Weird. All right, Cosmoem print line. Epic. Here we go. Please don't affect multiple cards. Oh, it kind of does on the Zekrum, if you can see on the right side, just a tiny bit. Hopefully, it goes away here with this nice next rare slot. God damn! God damn you guys. Is this gonna happen again? Is this gonna fucking happen again? That's the first heater that we started with on the other one too. We got the Blastoise first. God damn. What the hell? That is an excellent, excellent pull. I think that's in the top 10 for this set. Blastoise, the reprint of the original artwork. No print line, too. Lovely. And, dude, the centering is honestly looking pretty damn good on this one here. Pretty damn good. I'm very, very pleased with that card. Tonight we get the Venusaur, bro. That's still my dream is to get Bulbasaur, Venusaur, Charizard in one celebration ZTB. That would be the best. Starting with a blast, eh? You're damn right. All right, what's behind it? And a surfing Pikachu. Bro, it's going to happen again. I, you know, I shouldn't fucking call it. I shouldn't call it. I think it might happen again. I'm so excited to see that, dude. I will take these all damn day. Can I get a current... I, I will request this one. Can I get a current PSA 10 check on the Blastoise from Celebrations? Again, pretty much center perfect here. Like, there's no card surface errors at all. Like, I think that that's really going to do well. I think... I want to say it's around like 75 in a PSA 10 or so right now. That's pretty good. Gus, but does it pass the fireproof test? Oh, shit. Um, well, yeah, actually, that's a good point. That might not be worth anything. Hold on a sec. Let's just, uh, really quick, let's just try it. <laughs> Don't you ever say that again. Don't you ever say that again. Shrimp, you say? Don't even. Why would I shrimp, bro? I'm not gonna do shrimp again, bro. It did bring us some good luck, though. Maybe I should just put it on voluntarily. Slipping this one in. 99 cent Pikachu. Oh. I'm, I'm surprised that those flying and surfing Pikachus have retained so much value that you pretty much pull them every other pack, you know? Potato and Egg says, Blastoise straight up has cannons on him. How is that a fair matchup? <laughs> yeah, honestly. And Charizard just breathes just full on fire. Like, come on, dog. Can you shrimp because I missed the shrimping yesterday, dude? Do you want me to be shrimped? You want the man to just drown in shame, dude? I just pulled some, uh, or opened some MTG cards the other day. I pulled a card that I hate, lit it on fire. Hope Pokemon cards don't burn quite as fast. There you go, Rystar. Oh, shit, I didn't even put the clickable link on there. Okay, let me do this real quick. Just, to, just take a second. Venusaur can Solar Beam, though. Dude, Solar Beam is a pretty OP attack. I love a Venusaur. I can't tell which character design I like more of the original three. Probably Blastoise and Venusaur are definitely the most original of the two looking things. Just because Charizard is cool as shit. Like, he'd be my favorite of the three. And obviously, he's, like, the most valuable most of the time in any set. But, like, he just really ruby dooby doo looking like a regular dragon, though. You know? Like, he's kind of just a little bipedal fire-breathing boy. So, my favorite character design is Gus. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like how they design Gus. He could be evened out a little bit better. And his hairline's pretty high. He does have a bit of that melon head going on. But I think that they did okay with the character design on Gus. Boink. There we go. Ka and Chow. Alright, beautiful. 
<laughs> Last PSA 10 Blastoise, about 70. All right, that's pretty much what we were guessing then. Thank you so much for looking that up. In fact, I believe that I have now 10 or 11 of these Blastoises that we've pulled. I will take the starter three all damn day. That's two packs in a row. Let's see if we can keep the heat going. Have no fear, Tim is here. Hey, Tim. Good to see you, my dude. That got me hydro pumped, bro. Ooh, Fabio, let's go, dude. Come on, dog. Pop it open. Ugh, there we are. There we are. Groudon on the front. We're at 31 Mews, too. It's the fellow from Maryland. Indeed it is. Maryland represent space Maryland. Dang, Gus has like 50 bucks worth of Pokemon cards. There you go. Good math, Dicey Cast. 31 Mews. Let's see if we can get Mew 32, dude. Sounds like a nice radio station. You're listening to Mew 32. Reshiram. Palkia. And on the end, damn the large lad himself. No heat out of that one. Still cool. Some would count that as a technical hit pack, but not from a value standpoint. It is interesting, though. 31 Mews right now. The large lad is 40 cents. Not grand. Do you actually sell the good cards for profit, or do you keep them? I'm getting them graded as cheaply as I possibly can, and then I'm going to sit on these cards for five to ten years. Not with my butt, just with my time, all right? I'm going to be really slow and patient. I'm not trying to do flipping in the meantime. The Chubby Chew is cute, too. Dude, Chubby Chew is very cute. Get this out of here. You know, the Chonka Chew is what I hear more often than Chubby Chew, but I do like Chubby Chew. Chubby Chew sounds like a kind of uh, children's candy, <laughs> some like nougaty thing. Be a good mama hen and use your butt. That might make them age well. Or they'd all evolve because I'd be sitting on them. Holy shit. Cosmog. Dude, I mean, dude. All right. All right. Yo, I pulled one of these yesterday, too. And on the end, Professor's Research. Dude, honestly, let's fucking go. That's not like an absolutely off the chain card, but like it's a dollar. It's a classic collection. This also was in that giant heater ETB yesterday. Was a Blastoise and then a Rocket Zapdos. But the thing is, it went uh, Blastoise, Rocket Zapdos, Luxray. And then we went on. And here we got Don Fan. Still cool, though. 25 more years? That'll be $10. Hey, look at that. Big gains. Oh, wait. I'm not going anywhere. I'll wait. All right, set this one over here. Celebrations. Celebrate. Good time. Come on. I won't do uh, like one set only like the whole way through the entire time, but we're kind of going off of like the heater from yesterday. So I just kind of want to see how good these celebrations ETBs are going to be. Here we go. Uh, take it off. Take it off. All right. What do we got? Yveltal. Xerneas. Dialga. Uh-oh. And on the end, Zamazenta V. Well, that's fine. I guess it's a it's technically a hit. I'm so unbelievably lit right now. I DK off about if I'll be conscious for the whole live, but I love you. I'll support you. Okay. Well, I hope you're doing well, Ravioli. Thank you. Thanks for coming tonight. The Zamazenta is 55 cents right now. That's not a lot of money. Slip you back in here. The Zamazenta and Zacian look pretty cool, though, but I wouldn't want to be pulling those all damn day. Uh-uh. Ted, exactly. That's pretty much a... I guess we take those. Like, you don't want to fully be like complete garbage, but you're like, dang, <laughs> got a lot of those cards. I like your shirt, says Mermaid Serena. Thank you so much, dude. Of course, Gus, happy birthday. It's not my birthday. I wish it was, though. Thank you. I'll take it early. I will take it early. Xerneas on the front. Come on, dog. Cosmo, bring the heat back. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Wow, bro. Reshiram Classic Collection. Not bad. This is another very good booster box, at least. What we got behind you? Yo, 32! Mew 32, dude. Okay. I mean, dude, Celebrations, bro, is doing very well lately. Love it. How's the centering on this Reshiram here? I gotta take a closer look. Not, ooh, hmm, not perfect. I do really like it. I'm probably gonna sleeve it regardless. It's $5 raw right now, or sorry, $3 raw right now. 
but we'll see. I have hard cased some of the other ones. I think I will do it regardless. Just to, just to be safe. Who did that? Ravioli, ravioli, give me the formioli. Thank you for the tight fiver. Holy shit. Holy cannoli, dude. Mew32, Reshiram, and a goddamn tight fiver. Thank you, ravioli. I hope you're vibing tonight. Exclusively vibes this evening, my dude. Let me sit this one up here. Think. Think. Oh, A Trey, what up, dog? I got uh, you got lost in the damn ass hype, dude. How you doing, Angelica? Reshiram, let me slide you on in. Mew 32, dude, not bad. We're getting closer to the 420 Mew party. 420 Mew party, here we go. Reshiram, I love it. This is a cool looking card. It's like almost hard to see though, especially with the celebrations print over it, the texture and stuff. A little bit of curl on the top. Nope, that's just a little penny sleeve. We're all good. We're all good. I dig it. I dig it. Lost? I was bringing hype. Bro, everyone gets lost in the hype. Soon we'll all be found. Boink. There we go. All right, let's see what else. I mean, dude, at this point, what else will we need to pull? We need to probably pull at least one or two at mid-range, at least, classic celebrations cards to uh, have this be like a really, really good box. But I gotta tell you right now, like this is certainly off to an excellent start. And we still have one, two, three, four celebrations packs left. Not even including the five sword and shield packs that come with it, dude. Wild, wild. Casey, what up, how you doing? Thank you everyone for coming tonight, Sanctifieds, music enjoyer. I just joined and am eating ravioli. You people are in my walls. Now, if that's not Google listening to you, I don't know what to tell you there, guy. Put on the tinfoil hat. Cosmo him. Come on, dog. I would like a Venusaur or a Charizard, please. That'd be very polite to give me one of those. Cosmo him. Dialga. That's that's okay. Life goes on. Zekrom. Okay, that's fun too, I guess. Lunala's pretty cool. Um. Yeah, no, that's great. It's got like it's like a big bat or something. Or yeah, it's it's uh, well, it flies. It's so. It's cool. Thanks, Mom. No, I appreciate it. It's a cool, cool Christmas present. Oh, my God. It's the man himself. What the fuck, Sven? How are you doing? No. No. Ravioli, ravioli. Give me the formula. Do you like my brother's glasses? Holy canola. I lost it on that one. Yeah, you never had it, though. What? Thank you. Hey, Sven, you want to open a pack or two here? Please let me open a pack. I just finished all my schoolwork for the day. Nice. That's going to get a... Ow! From me, if you ask me. Ravioli, dude. I got to give you a giant cheers there on that tight tenor. Damn. Dink. <sighs> Delicious. Emerald. They got a, it's a repro cart, though, so it's only 15 bucks. It's not an original cart, but it looks great. Take it out. What's a repro? People buy the cheap cases and, and put ROMs on them and sell them at scale. So it's like if you want the experience but don't want to pay the probable $60 to $100 it would cost to buy that just loose cart, here, take this reproduced cart, you know? Damn. Bro, this is dead. Your it's dead? Is dead? No, it isn't. Check it out. How the fuck did you do that? Let's turn it on. I just did that too. Well, guess you didn't. Guess you stinking didn't. It's whatever. <laughs> Ravioli. Gus, please tell Sven to say hello, Ravioli. Hello, Ravioli. Let's say uh, Mr. Krabs sing together. Ravioli, ravioli, ravioli give, give me the formioli. Thank you, Ravioli. I told him. I don't know if he saw. I, if you were there, I told him that. Sven, I love you, says Ravioli. Well, Sven, ravioli. give Ravioli some good heat right now, then. Woohoo! Okay. Gus, you can't say cart. It triggers my degeneracy. Please be considerate of my obscure needs. I like it. Van Punk, a cartridge, a little cartridge. Oh. And then I bet they meant like a little nicotine card or whatever. Nah, dude. Van, oh, Van Punk, happy seven months, my dude. Sweet seven. All right, well, I'm here. Thank you, Show me what I gotta get. So we are trying to match the uh, heat of yesterday that we got out of the uh, celebrations ETB. Mm -hmm. So far, we've opened eight of the 10 packs. I'd love it if you could do us the honor of opening the last three mini packs. Oh, damn. So far, we have gotten out of the celebration CTB. These cards, already great. Damn. Five regular sleeve ones. And also, this is Mew number 32 on the year for us. 32 Mews this year. And it, I dare I remind you, it is currently like January the 11th, the 12th. 
Also, we've gotten the Blastoise and the Classic Collections Reshiram. So, bro, holy shit, this is all up just today? Just today, that's the only thing we've opened. Okay. Sven crashed a Toyota Corolla in 2004 and has been on the run ever since, Johnson. No! You did that? <laughs> you guys are making so much shit up the second I step onto the stream. Oh my god. Why'd by you the way. do that, bro? Uh, I, I didn't do that. Matter of fact, it's oh. just Tim and Slim keep on making shit up about me on stream. Every time I get on the stream, I could totally see that. Honestly, those guys are huge liars. <laughs> Demolik, thank you for the tight fiber, bro. Yo, Demolik, you're gonna give us some luck. I almost just accidentally kissed you on the cheek. Don't. Yuck. I know. I know. I would have been extra bad because. I got bad breath right now because I've been sitting in my room fucking studying all day. I think I just wrecked this pack on accident. Ow. Did I? I don't know. Is there a card trick? No, you just open it from the front. The first two are dumb. The third one's the giant hit one. And then oh. the last one we want to mute. Cosmog. Ah, uh, no, because oh, I saw sucked. I already spoiled this one. Damn it! That sucked, dude. Oh. Demlik says, dude, I hope so. My pack pick yesterday was doo-doo. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, we, good thing we got two more of these packs. Yeah, put those in the hollows. Uh, th this? Yep. Okay. Sweet. Thank you again for the tight fiber, Demlik. That's fucking chill, dude. Matt says, Sven doesn't know how to pull good Pokemon cards, Johnson. Guys, stop. Sven read a whole book, calculus textbook and then forgot all of it, Johnson. You guys suck. I'm never nice. going to I'm never going to bring my magic fingers to Gus's stream again after nice. this. Please make his fingers stay around so we can pull good cards for us. Oh, damn. Okay. What's yep. what's the best pack or card in this? The Blastoise? Oh, the big boy Charizard. So the giant pulls here would be Charizard, Venusaur, and Blastoise. Would be awesome. <laughs> Birthday Pikachu also. What are you laughing at, bro? I, just, I don't know, man. Will be wonky says Sven, eat your glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I like that the colon was used. Yeah, too. Sven. Sven. Colon. <laughs> <laughs> like now that I have your attention. Eat your glasses. Dude, Powered By gave $5 of luck on this one. Oh, shit. Okay. okay. We're Powered By, Powered By. Oh, whoa. Man, they must have planned this. I'm just not going to even take this code card off anymore. Yeah, I don't usually even do it. All right. Cosmog. So dumb. Like, in the Celebrations packs, the bad cards just seem extra bad. Like, I don't yeah. give a shit. Reshiram. Uh, ooh, ooh. Oh, no. It's no. Uh, it's a dollar. It's a dollar. Okay, it's fine. Leave it. It's something. Whatever. Dude, Mozrilla, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? Wait, what happened? Read it. It's still shining there. Uh, uh, where? Oh, it's going up on the thing. It's going away. Oh, I haven't gone to sleep yet. Glad we have the good Johnson brother on our ship. <laughs> oh. Dude, what the hell, dude? Mozrilla? Thank you, first of all. What the fuck, bro? Second of all, that guy's standing right He's not outside in a rural residential area. That's actually the garb I'm wearing. That's me. <laughs> Everyone is making up different taunt names for me right now. That's Stop. <laughs> Are you implying Thor is a bad Johnson brother? No. Yes. What? I love all my Johnson brothers equally. Come on. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. That's a really good camo. Yeah, it is, dude. Okay. okay. Good card, please. This is please. the last celebrations pack in really? the whole ETB. Mm, no. Okay, is that wrong? Come on, we oh. really need a big hit for this to be a great box. Yoga. Okay. Come on, no pressure. No pressure. Oh, ah, it sucks. Fuck. It sucks. Oh, ah, no, shit. No. I'm ruined. Shit. I have to move back to Wisconsin. I'm ruined. <laughs> Was that the whole box? Uh, not the sword and shield ones. Oh, shit. Well, guys, I tried my best. My golden fingers are more like... Ugh, Damn it, I'm ruined. Stop. I'm absolutely <laughs> <Get the> ruined. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. That's okay. I want to hit it like those, uh, those, those thwacky, boingy punching bags, you know? The... Yeah, I should do that. That's what I wanted to do. When you come back, we'll open an evolutions pack. Okay. Ah! It's okay. Goodbye, Sven. Goodbye. That's okay. Powered by, dude, another type fiber, bro. Thank you so much for doing that. It's this one. Uh, powered by says this one. I'm going to transfer all that luck from the fiber into this chilling rain one. That seems like a good idea. Just give me the damn, uh, 
Moltres, please. Oh, Sven bumped the light. I can see it's different back there. I'll fix it after this pack. Sven farts before he gets out of Gus's chair, Johnson. Let me double check quick. Ugh, no, it's clean. It's pretty clean, dude. Pretty soapy. Has anyone ever told you Sven looks like your brother? No, nah, I don't think so, though. I honestly don't think that Sven and I look that much alike. People say that we look super alike. I mean, the hair sets us apart very differently. I just have a different build, and I'm like four inches shorter. It's just different. Ravioli, ravioli, give me the formioli with another tight fiver, bro? What is going on? Dude, ravioli is just yielding an entire wall of just pasta sauce yuzz after that. So we got ravioli with the red yuzz sauce dripping down every time, dude. Dude, Trey, I know. What the fuck, you guys? It's hyping here tonight. What the heck? Dude, thank you so much for all the sub love going on. How's the volleyball dynasty? Oh, dude, I don't even know if Sven has shared, but he has found a potential spot to go play some volleyball at and stuff. He's very excited. I'm sure he'll want to tell you more. It's not really my thing to tell, but that's how the volleyball dynasty is doing. Thanks for being in here tonight, Trey. I appreciate it, dude. Elect Talks. Thank you as well. Judo Crow, dude. 21 months, bro. Thank you. Whole G Dingle Dang Darn Doofy Moofy Months. So now what? That's the joke. What's a man to do? Guess I'm still writing. That's okay. I like that one. Thanks for 21 months there, Judo Crow. Always good to see you. Rise Star, I hope you have a good rest of your night. Seriously, Mozrilla, thank you again for the 489 total bits. When it combines the total, it totally deprives the joke on the Streamlabs thing. Whatever. Whatever. There's definitely family resemblance, but I wouldn't say that you look alike. I'm about there, too. I'm about there, too. I don't think I remembered to do the pack trick, but that's okay. It's a chilling rain. Please give us the luck. Porygon. I guess I did remember. Grookey. Mareep. Snover. We're never going to ever pull the Galarian Moltres V. It's just not even going to happen. Why do I even remotely allow myself to continue to dream? I don't know why. I don't get it. Dude, 489 is the funniest number. Don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> different tastes. Different folks, different strokes. I guess that's what we gotta learn about this. Oh, well, that's that one. Let me let me pour some of these little extra card sleeves down. I'm starting to I, I got a good, good recycling system for all this shit set up. There's no I mean it generates a lot of waste and that sucks, but I'm at least recycling all of it really cleanly and compressed, so I'm not taking up a shitload of space been packing it into old recyclable shopping bags and stuff you know also for later we got to do this we'll know when the moment is right we will know when the moment is right but i can't wait to open this one later on Me meowth v max we have two cosmic eclipse packs a unified minds pack now a little lad back there's a little evolutions pack shh don't wake it it's slumbering dude. it's slumbering Ugh. let's set this right over here there we go Lovely. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what's next. Yo, Ravioli, what do you want to open next? I'll give you a few options. I've got some Brilliant Stars. I have a little bit of Silver Tempest. I've got, here's a fun one, XY Fates Collide. I've got another Celebrations ETB, some Darkness Ablaze, a Goofy Pack, or some Champions Pack. What are you thinking, dude? Ravioli, ravioli, tell me the pack to pulley. While I sleeve up this little Rockets admin over here. This one was, I think, probably about like 30 cents, 40, 50. It's one of the worst trainer gallery pulls in the entirety of celebrations. <laughs> Mozrilla says, I'd like you to open up your heart on stream next. Oh, bless your heart. <laughs> Chat, has Homer been there the whole time, please? No, honestly, I'd... Wait, what are you talking about? I don't see anything. All right. Gosh, you got quiet and the music got loud. What? Is it still happening right now? Let a man know. Audio output capture. Maybe I... Oh, don't do it. Not as bad. Oh, here's my input capture. That's probably a little bit better. Okay. Let me know if that's good. I was down a little bit. Oh, I realized the other day when I tried to turn down... The uh, music stuff, I turned myself down and I never fixed it. All right, should I turn that? Should I bump that music just a tiny bit here? Is that is that going to be a good balance? You let me you let me know how it needs how it needs right now. There's probably like a 15 second delay. I'm also going to re-add in the uh, 
little like gifts that we had in the window, dude. Dude, Rick my animation or dude, Rick my Oh my god, RC May animation. My brain was focusing in on Mayan? Mayan? It looked like the word Mayan in there. RC Mayan. Don't you even worry about it. I just want you to be here. Don't you even worry about it, my dude. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Oh, Rystar just got sub dude. Thank you, Rystar. Subbed you up. Thank you so much, Rystar. I appreciate you doing that, dog. Trey says, I'd like to make my mic hit the top of the green before it hits yellow. Oh, that's true. Well, mine's a bit hot. You can tell because if I go, ah, that kind of clips it out, dude. Is it a little too hot? You let a guy know. Tim goes, no shame dipping in the yellow. No shame dipping in there. Gus, can we please do a silent movie stream next time? Just the regular stream, but no sound. I think it'd be great for viewer retention and getting new subs. <laughs> I gotta hire you for some of this idea stuff, man. It's good shit. It's good shit. All right, Christmas, be gone. I love your shirt, Gus. Ah, thank you, Pompous Rhombus. All right, I'm going to re-add this gift thing in here quick. What the fuck did I save it as? It's probably recent in my downloads. Oh, you guys remember how sexy this one makes it? Goodness gracious. Oh, man. We're going to put that rainy vibe on here, too. <laughs> bro. Wait till I snap it behind the window frame. Oh, my God. Look how pretty that whole image is, too. Oh, yes. That looks, looks so sick, dude. I feel like you got to move it down just a tad, though. That's... Yeah. Yes, bro. That's so good. That looks so good. Where's the rest of this thing? All right. Oh, and don't forget this. Don't forget this one. <laughs> this one's even cooler, bro. This is going to look good. Big Bird 199876. Thank you, Big Bird, for the prime sub, dude. Oh, uh, you're pretty much one of my favorite freaking residents of Sesame Street, dare I say. All right. I know that my name is in Snuffleupagus, but I got to say, simping for the BB, dude. All about that BB. Come on, maybe got to go a little smaller. Oh, we're going to get this perfect for you little stinkers, and then we're going to open another, uh, another bunch of stuff up. Ravioli, by the way, I hope I didn't miss your message. What did you want to open on up next, my dude? What did you want to open on next? Thank you for the biddies, by the way, too. Appreciate the 200 bits, dog. Hell yeah. Merry Christmas indeed, dude. Yeah, Jane. There you go. All right. I'm catching up to chat over here live. And boom, I'm live. I would love to see Gus create classic Charlie Chaplin scenes. Be careful with the mustache, though. I dig that. You're a little too hot. Not your mic. <laughs> Hey, BTW had to fight computers to get here. Well, there you go. I'm glad you're here, though, ZX. You made it. I hope you won in your uh, valiant efforts against the computer. You know what? That's pretty good. Right? Yeah, that. Oh, don't do that. That's pretty good. A little micro blip up. There we are. Perfect-ish. As perfect as it's going to get. I did get two big Rayquazas. I did, oi, D-Ron. Yes. Did we get a TV upgrade? Yes, we did. I'm projecting a completely flat, uh, like, flat screen monitor image onto a curved CRT one, but that's okay. All right, enough talk. Let's get some damn Pokemon cards flowing in here, okay? Ravioli, you let me know again, dude. I appreciate you being here. Gus, no matter what mic problems you have, it will never be as bad as Kenneth Copeland throat mic. Oh, don't you. I ate recently. Don't even... Don't you even, dude. Get out of here. <laughs> I really loved your stream with Adef the other day. I was not familiar with him. You guys were so funny together, too. I love Clay. He's a, he's a great dude. That was so chill. We'll have to have him come back through for both Pokemon stuff and garage streaming, too. Garage stream, dude. He was killing. We were playing Knob with him afterwards, me and Sven and Clay. Dude was good at Knob, bro. He's going to kick our asses. Top pull in Vivid Voltage right now is the Rainbow Chonkachu, $140 raw, says Matt Zachman. In fact, I'm surprised that it is that high still after the reprint, but that's good. That bodes well for us. <laughs> Trey goes, Van Punk, that's a fancy way of saying teamwork makes the dream work. Absolutely. Hey, you made the video. You did this to yourself. I did do this to myself. Had I known. 
Had I known. Dude, I gotta pop up the rain ambience as well there, guy. That'll really fill out the whole soundscape, eh? Rain. On window ambiance. That's my favorite one. How's that? How's the balance on that? Too much? Too little? A little rain on the windows? Battle styles. Let's open one. Pop it open. Doink. I'm not a Pokemon card player, so I have to ask, what makes the Charizard so valuable? Well, it was originally, uh, like, the most sought-after, like, collected kind of card for a while and stuff. It's just kind of such an iconic thing character for Pokemon, you know? Pikachu's another giant one. It's just so iconic. It's popular and stuff, you know? It's hard to get older Charizards and stuff, so Pokemon kept making them one of the big chase cards and stuff. Yeah, people just like it. It looks cool. It's an accessible design. Big Dragon Breathe Fire. Easy, you know? Easy, easy. Sizzlipede, Vivalon. Oh, no Tyranitar for us today. Conkledurr. <clears throat> Canada Dry Hand says, I'm one day away from playing Wordle for an entire year. An entire year, dude. That's pretty good. I wish I kept up on Wordle more. I do like playing it intermittently. My family group chat uh, had it and stuff, but I, I, my mom keeps up on it. Some of my siblings do. I gotta do better at it, though. <clears throat> Excuse me. Darkness Ablaze, just for my own research purposes, I'm gonna spoil every Darkness Ablaze pack because it's pretty notorious for fucking up on the green and white code cards regularly. Dark green... I'm not even giving up hope. This should mean that I get no holographic in here, but let's see if it's an error pack. It's a lot more common. It's not like a 50-50 kind of thing, but it's a like, I'm telling you, twice I've gotten the top Charizard VMAX pull on a green code card out of Darkness of Blaze that would indicate that I wasn't even supposed to get a holographic card out of there, you know? Floyd to Barber, what up, dude? Thanks for 17 months, dog. How are you doing? I hope you've been well. When are we heading back to Skyrim? Ooh, dude. Honestly, I gotta just get my act together and put that Skyrim save file on a new thing and port it over to this computer. I honestly would have done it sooner if it wasn't that step of like, I gotta go dig my old PC out, uh, move the save file. It's locally sourced over here. Nothing there in my neck trick, by the way. <clears throat> I gotta get my act together. But I wanted to do it soon. I, I honestly, I missed the shit out of Skyrim golf. I was considering even doing that today, but I ended up running a bunch of errands. I was out of the house. Hello there, um, Miss Sherry and Elite. Good to see you, dude. I hope you're well. We're in a Skyrim room? Yeah, bro, is this not enough? We're here. All right, this is going to be dark green, too. Fuck! No pack trick. Let's just see if it works. No pack trick. We'll see if it works. Electric, Fletchling, Galarian Mr. Mime, Torchic, Torchic. No, all right, this one did work that time. Okay, I'm still going to do that only with Darkness Ablaze, though. I am absolutely floored by this, honestly, despite the reprint, Zach. Zach, Matt, Matt, Zachman, top pull in Darkness Ablaze. The Charizard VMAX is down to $40 raw. That's wild, dude. I definitely think that'll improve over time, but it's never going to be just a clear screamer out front there, you know? How about we open this damn Fates Collide thing? Nope, psych! Princess time! Cinderella. Six cards, plus one pop-out, plus one activity card per box. Oh my god, buckle up. It's rainy. And we're about to get zany, dude. Skyrim with a randomizer mod is hilarious. That does sound like a good meme. It's princess time, everybody. Let's get whisked away to a palace far, far away. What kind of activity are we going to have today? We're hoping that we get the Gus Gus card. That's the pull that we're aiming for. I don't know if you guys know this. I am Gus. So that would be like if somebody was saying my name. If like, And, and they said it twice. That's our hope for this card. Come on. Cinderella, Cinderella. <sighs> We got that castle. Connect the dots. Find out what time Cinderella must be home. I don't know what that could possibly be. We'll have to attend to that later. Might need some people's help on that. We got the castle card. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. It's a little Cinderella, Cinderella castle. That's fun. We've got Cinderella herself, the titular character. Flip her around. Boink. It's kind of chill. Cindy pack, yeah, dude. I forgot yesterday, like Cindy to Indy, dude. Lovely Cinderella. Works all day and all night as a scullery maid for her cruel stepmother and stepsisters. But she never loses hope that her dreams will come true. Kind, gentle, and patient, Cinderella makes the best of every day with the help of her animal friends. Then one day, Cinderella's dreams at last come true.
Good night, guys. All right, we got these two gentlemen. We got Stalor and Waldorf. Ooh, Gus Gus is, but it's not the featured Gus Gus though. Gus, read us bedtime stories in that voice. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> Miss Nelson is missing. She's gone. <laughs> Subscribe to Gus Johnson Cinderella ASMR 10 hour edition. Please, Gus, please. Gus, can you please read the cards a little slower? You're making me dizzy. <laughs> it's okay. All right, we've got the technical Gus Gus card. He's tugging on him. We got the checklist. Damn, they're just giving that away like it's candy. Holy shit. I guess there's 90 cards in here. I mean, okay. I mean, okay, we got this pissed off little feline, and then we got the stepsisters. I feel like we we're getting only the exact same cards every time we open one of these. It's whatever. It's been Haley says, I'm so happy. Me too. Read creepypasta in that voice. It's the only way to do it. 90? No, that's more than zero. This is Snowblitz. I agree with you. All right, it's Fates Collide time. For real this time. No more princesses. We got the princesses out of our system. Gus, are you going to build the pop-out castle card? <sighs> Yeah, guys, let's build it. You want to build the pop-out castle card, everyone? Instruction, instructions. Punch out figure, leaving figure attached at A. Fold card back at B and C. Insert slots D and E together with panel F behind panel G. But the second I fold it, I'm going to lose access to the instructions. I thought it was a Beatles impression. I thought it was a Beatles impression for a second. That's like a 6 out of 10. I can get away with that one. We will put our most prized card in our castle. <laughs> That's a good idea, Bob Nitty. Punch out figure A, leaving figure attached at A. What the fuck does that even mean? The, the Cinderella cards are too hard, guys. Where Where's A? There's no A on this card. Am I blind? Why can't I see this shit? D, G, E, B, C, E, F, D, E? There's two E's. Cinderella cards are too hard, guys. Why do you keep making me buy these? Let's open a Hellboy card instead. Wait, I gotta open the heavy one first. That's the one that I said probably had an autograph in it. We'll see. Heavy one. Heavy Hellboy. And then we're doing Fates Collide, all right? Only fair. Gus, nine. Oh, nine days. Okay, good. I got time. I got time, ZX. Good comms. Kate adds, what up with the gub? Good to see you, dude. Bro, clip them nails. Oh, dude, I should, honestly. These are really long nails. Holy shit. Thank you, K-Dads, for the nine-monther, bro. I ain't even body self-conscious, but would you guys prefer if I wouldn't clip my nails? I'm, I, I'll do it. Like, I just don't want to turn people off. I don't give a fuck. I let them grow out. I always forget. You want me to go clip my nails on break? Don't do it. Yeah, you should. I'm telling you. You can tell me. Yeah, it's not offensive. Thank you again, K-Dads, dude. Here we go. Here we go. Joe Overwire will have to keep that in mind and probably try that out, dude. Give us an Abraham card. Let's hope. They look lovely and clean. Only clip every other one. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Yes, we can add Fossabot to it, Tim. Bro, I'm a I'm a degenerate. I got it. I yeah, you're right. <laughs> we do. We do. Alright, let's see if we can get a Hellboy card here. Oh, technically, he looks a lot goofier on the print of this. It looks like a 70s television show, kinda. Please clip them on cam. I like that. I like that we could clip them on cam. That's a good idea. That's the front runner. That's who we thought was Will Forte the other day, but it is not. And we've got Gregory's Mad Plan again. All right. Stinker pack. Nothing in that one, dude. Gus, learn how to play guitar. Any tips? Fuck tabs. If you're just starting off, fuck tabs. That's going to piss you off. Don't start with those. I firmly believe this. I taught, I used to teach guitar to students. Never would I take out tabs. Never would I take out sheet music. When you're a trying to play the guitar, and especially when you're a kid and shit, you want to pick something up and go, ring, ding, a ding, ding, a ding, 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 don't go, boing, 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 boing. Like, fuck that. No one wants to do that. Find some simple pop songs and stuff. Get some classic rock. Look up some easy old Beatles stuff. Don't touch Billy Joel. Don't touch Elton John. It'll get a, you'll hit into the bridges and you'll be mad at yourself for not knowing the chord progression. Get some simple three chord shit, okay? Do a little bit of that, some old Rolling Stones stuff. Maybe some pop music off the radio, four chord shit, you know, Ed Sheeran kind of bull crap. You get some of that stuff and then just like look at the chords. Look at the chords online. Figure out how to strum them. Work on rhythm and strumming patterns first. That's what you should prioritize as you look at chord stuff or some simple songs. If you really start to, to play 
like attainable songs that you enjoy. It's going to cement in your brain that you want to do this. You're, you're willing to follow through on it, and uh, it'll just keep going. You know, you'll learn. You'll want to do it. Do it. DVD hit the corner. You sure? Tim says I learned with Simon and Garfunkel and and the Abbott Brothers. Ooh, I like that. That's a good way to start too. Yeah, Sound of Silence was an early one I learned too in D minor. Pretty cool. My first and only song I learned on bass was Smoke on the Water. It's my bad party trick. There you go. Hey, Gus, I'll give you $3.52 to help me write a resume for a promotion I'm applying for. All right, that's fair. Senior year of my music major here, and I agree with that advice. There you go. Saturn on Water. Guys, it's peer-reviewed now, what I just said. That's official research. Go ahead, publish it. You'll be fine. Trey says my first was the Beatles. Which Beatles song, Trey? An early one for me was Nowhere Man. That was a pretty simple one to do. Please, please, please give us not the Tyranitar. Oh, oh. That's okay. It's the Tyranitar. Better than the Zygarde, though. Better than the Zygarde. Hey Jude is a great song to start on. In fact, probably the song. Oh, dude, start on Hey Jude. That should be, like, mandatory, dude. Holy shit. Here we go. Gus, I had a great time being unhinged, but it's time to head out. The man is home, and work was rough. Have a great night. Best of luck on the polls. Thank you, Chewy Ace Babies. We'll see you later, okay? Thanks for swinging through tonight. Here we go. We got one of every one this time. No double Lugia. <clears throat> Let's start with this little Del Fox. Come on. These rip open so easily. Again, the top pull in this set is the full art Alakazam EX. It's jumping through the air with an Umbreon. There is an Umbreon on the card, too. We are absolutely hoping for the Umbreon and the uh, Alakazam EX. Gus, can I see that Tyranitar promo again? Here you go, guy. I mean, it doesn't look the worst. It's just these aren't really particularly valuable promo cards here. There's a tiny little set behind it, too, but that one's just on front. Here we go. Gus is lying to y'all. Flight of the Bumblebee is the best song to learn on guitar. <laughs> yeah, that'll get you started, Van Punk. Foot in the door, dare I say. Start on winter F minor. Ooh, there you go. Bob Nitty bringing it back. That's called a callback. Look it up. Wait! ZX, are you actually, are you fucking serious right now? Wait, straight up? Are you serious right now? Dead serious. What's, what's the PSA 10 on it then? How is that $16? Are you kidding me? I probably got like 20 of those. I can't imagine, I'm, before I even see the price in the chat, I can't imagine the PSA 10 is even going to be over like $40. But that's shocking. That's really, really shocking. This is not an entirely, this is a perfect example of a pretty mid XY set, but I'm not saying that to shit on it. Like it's mid, you know? Fates Collide, I'd say you probably find packs for about 10 to 12 bucks right now, you know? $60,000. Oh, yeah, the music got a little, like, nutso style over there. I hope it chills out. Here, try this one instead. Boom. Yeah, $16 TCG player puts it at market price. That's dynamite. I like that. Here, let me try this. Let's go... Pokemon XY Fates Collide Tyranitar PSA 10 promo card. Yeah, dude, Tim, you're totally right. All right, let's. right, I'm going to look it up here on uh, the PSA grid here to see what the PSA 10s are for completed sales on that. Nobody's getting those graded, really. Let's see what the 9 sold for recently. Dude, what? Are you serious? Dude, last year there was, like, dude, this is, like, selling. Like, it's not selling super hot. I'm telling you, most of these don't move. But here's a recorded sale last year in the fall for $83 for the promo card in a PSA 8. PSA 8, dude. Wow. Make sure it's the pre-release. Oh, yeah, well, it's, oh, I don't know if it's stamped pre-release. But the box is a pre-release kit. It came out of the pre-release kit. 
So, like, that's its own thing, but, like, the, the stamp on it doesn't say, like, there's no indication on the card. I don't know if it's a differentiator or whatever. X, Y, Fates Collide. Interesting. Anyway, that was a, a worthwhile sidetrack there, though. Sorry, thank you for the help on that one. That's shocking. Damn, I got a ton of those then. Holy crap. That's a pre-release Tyranitar. Well, shit. Well, if the box is a pre-release, then, yeah, that that's the one that ZX showed. God damn. All right, good to know. The Fates uh, Collide stamp shows. Well, there we go. See if we can't get some more heat out of here. That is really surprising. I didn't even know that that was, like, offsetting the value of the packs, too. That's great. We got a Fennekin. I hope we get a cool reverse this time, too. We begin... Oh, what the fuck is that? What the hell is that shit? I skipped a Volibee. Dude, what the hell is that? It's upside down. Choose which way this card faces before you play it. This player's Pokemon can't be asleep or paralyzed. This player's Pokemon can't be confused or poisoned. Whoa. That's a really cool card. I've never seen anything like that. I can't imagine that that's valuable, but that is really interesting. I didn't know that XY had stuff like that. 15 cent weird shit. There you go. I mean, I'll probably see that, in fact. Let's we'll see what's on the end. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wow. That's nuts. Here's the thing. This isn't the top Alakazam. It's still great. That's not the top Alakazam. It's jumping through the air with an Umbreon. That's the top one. That's awesome. That is awesome as shit. 1550 raw right now, dude. Centering on this one is absolutely abysmal. This is the third best pull in the set. That is a god card right there. Yeah, there is no way on earth that this gets a 10. I just think that the centering is too fucked and not OC enough. But it's still cool. Honestly, I'd be happy to get an 8 or 9 on that too. It's pack fresh too. I mean, people are going to be looking out for those. There's not a lot of these, I think, in population that are like super perfect. That is not a god card. Silfer the Sky Dragon is a god card. Oh, Slifer the Sky Dragon? I don't even know what this reference is, dog. I'll have to take your word for it, Matt Zachman. This is fantastic, though. In fact, that's the top pull of the stream so far. No question. That's a really good pull, dude. Yu-Gi-Oh, my guy. Oh, man, I'm dumb. Gus, the secret Alakazam also had a Lugia in the background. So cool. I didn't know that. I'll have to keep an eye out for it. Man, look at this. Here, let's take you in for a closer look, though. Take a peek at that art. It's very beautiful. Mega Alakazam EX. Wow. That's a cool card. That is a really cool card. Awesome, dude. Sick! Sick! Gus, the secret Alakazam also had a Lugia, though. Oh, pfft, I read the same thing again. Jesus Christ. You want to go two for two on Fates Collide? See if we get another heater out of here? I'd do it. Let's try it. No, I'm just kidding. We got to go. No, all right. We'll do it. We'll do it. I'm always psyching you out. Alakazama uh, be spooning all day. I should say so. I should say so. Gus, what is your most prized Pokemon card from your collection? Is it PSA graded? That's a good question. I actually don't know. Maybe. I, I hate. I bought it, though. I didn't pull it. This is the only big raw card that I bought. But I really like the... Uh, Wait! Oh, fuck! I did the pack trick wrong! Yo, I got it! Okay, Hollow Tyranitar, though. <laughs> okay. PSA 10's 100 bucks on that last card. PSA 9, 38. PSA 8, 32. Wait, I fucked up this pack completely. I hate that I did that on an XY pack. Shit, but I mean, dude, I'll take another one here. Look at that. We got two Tyranitars out of here, dude. All right. I mean, it's a really cool Tyranitar. I do like Tyranitar a lot, too. I wasn't trying to gripe. I just didn't know it was re uh, worth that one before. That ain't no shrimp, bro. You guys are so half-cocked with that goddamn shrimp shit. Any little infraction. Like, I could bump a drink. No, not spill a drink. Bump a drink. You'd be like, shrimp! Shrimp! <laughs> shrimp! <laughs> he fucked up! Where's his shrimp? Oh, my God. 43 cent shitty T-Rex. We're madame. It's cool. It ain't worth shit. It ain't worth shit. Gus, what is your most prized possession? And also, can I have it? You're making a series of good points. I'm gonna have to ruminate on it, but I'm pointing towards... Yes! Alright, now I am going to open another Celebrations ETB. It's gotta be done. It's gotta be done. I'm sad I can't find any more Indiana Jones cards. I think I bought out all of the local stock. 
I think I did. Gus, what is your favorite bowling alley animation? Mine is the one where the ball misses the spare and has to put on the shrimp suit. Fuck you. Is this the new Mick and Ralph's now? It's the fucking shrimp suit shit, dude. What a bad. Gus, I feel like the subreddit is lacking Gus shrimp fan art. You're displaying me in my most shameful state, though, boy goofs. Why, God? Why? Don't eternalize that, that moment. <laughs> <laughs> These fuck ups, dude. All right, you ready? Matt Zachman deleted Matt Zachman's message. There you go. All right, this got ordered strangely. Let's see how many we get here. One, darkness, darkness, like that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Vivid voltage, chilling rain, battle styles. God, they just really put that shit in there however the fuck they wanted. There's no rhyme or reason. These these ETBs for celebrations are always just so out of whack. It's wild. Matt Sackman goes, I didn't know I could delete my own message. Angie says, when Gus gets a P.O. box, send all the shrimp cocktail sauce you get. Dude, no. Um, to, to my peoples, to the shrimp, that's like sending anthrax. Do not send cocktail sauce to me, dude. That is so disrespectful. There we go. Come on. Celebrations, ETB. Will this one be better than the last one? Bring us back to the days of old, to the days of yesterday when we were getting heat. Holy train, thanks for raiding in here, dude. Come on in, we're opening some Pokemon cards. In fact, I'll show you a hit right out the box. I just lied. But this one, see now that's also ca you know, pretty bad, actually. Pretty bad. Thank you, Holy Train. Oh yeah, raiding friends, there we go. Let's go, Wumpus Grumpus. How you doing, dude? Get your little tush in here, dog. Another one. It, it didn't even happen. That didn't even happen. You didn't see it. Didn't occur. It's not in the annals of history. I like that research art. Yeah, I mean, the art is cool on Professor's Research. I do like them leaping out of the frame, but it ain't worth shit. Description. I love these late streams, Gus. I'm gonna settle in, grab a drink, get cozy, and see how long it'll take for you to pull a shrimp suit on. <laughs> I thought that was gonna be so positive. Wait, what the fuck? Hold on. Is something wrong with the print on this? Hold on. Is this my my brain playing tricks on me? I need to find another Cosmog. The background looks extremely dark. I definitely have a Cosmog in here not too deep. Hold on. Is this my eyes playing tricks on me straight up? It's not. It is so not. Uh, look, you guys, if you ever doubt how fucking minute of a difference I can notice at the, this point in time, you see that shit? I just pulled this other one out. You know what I'm fucking talking about? I told you, sometimes you got, it's in your head, and if I'm like, this one feels thin, that one looks off. I know what I'm talking about. I knew that was just like a little bit darker. Weird. I've never seen some shit like that. I'm gonna have to really pay attention to the rest of the hollows in this box and make sure that those are also the same. I totally saw that. Is that rare? Some people collect it. Here's the thing. In my opinion, my, my little quick brief answer opinion for this is no. It's a really unpopular Pokemon, um, and it's also a really slight, slight difference. If it was, like, severely miscut or, like, a classic misprint thing, I think it would probably be set it apart. But this doesn't, like, super scream, huge, giant, fuck up, huge, giant, fuck up. You know what I mean? I am going to sleeve it to be safe. Might as well. Interesting. I mean, dude, that's cool as shit, though. That's cool as shit. Interesting nonetheless. And also, if anything, I'm totally stroking myself off here, dude. But that adds to my fucking street cred with you little stinkers. Trust me! I know what I'm talking about! Somebody messed up on that? You do big time, Ada Scott. All right, you ready? See if any other of these ones are, like, super dark. Hold on, is that? Oh, I can't tell. Wait, that actually fucking kind of looks dark. A little bit. I, dude, I can't tell on this one. The other one was really clearly defined. Actually, I think it is. I think it's affecting this one, too. Can you see? Look in the bottom left. Primarily the bottom left. All right? Can you see the difference in the sheen here as I hit it with the similar angles of card? Yeah? This is going to be a weird box. Something tells me. Something's going to be weird about it. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, the entire box is like that. That's definitely darker. Give me a Palkia. Give me a Palkia. That's definitely darker. Actually, 
No, it is. It is. This one is way less severe, though. Again, bottom left is where you're kind of looking here. Way less severe. I think you notice the Cosmog so much more because there's a figure in there, you know? You've got this trainer in the background, so it's super, super apparent. I guess these other ones probably aren't notable enough. Like, this is pretty, pretty slight. Um, oh, dude! Yo! A Mew! First of all, holy shit! Second of all, are we gonna have an error Mew here? Hold on. Let me see the other one. Hold on. Gus, you're trying to get some Pokemon fired? Well, now, hey, now. Mew 33. Okay, so here's the one we just pulled. Happy Mew Years. Get it in. Happy Mew Years. Mew 33. Same age Christ was when he died. Also Chris Farley. And now here's a Mew that we had pulled previously. I can't tell. It's not jumping out at me a hell of a lot. No, it doesn't look super different. It must just be an error. Well, I don't know. Nah. This one doesn't, like, super scream error on me. But that's cool. The Cosmog, though, is very, very uh, clear. It's very clear. Looks normal. Gus finally cracked, guys. I wasn't calling sus on him, bro. This one is definitely it. I maintain my good reputation. Gus, how do you know what the little black cards are for, for, for in the back of the decks? They're for the online version of the game. You can take the code card or scan the QR code and get a, a free digital pack that corresponds to the one that I'm opening. Not the hits out of mine, but the pack set that it's from. So, hey, here's one for just a randomized celebrations pack on the online game. That's how it goes. Some people use them. It's not extremely popular. Most Pokemon open card opener people stream or, like, video or not, anyone else just give them away like this, you know? Anyone that acts to, by the way, of, like, Guys, this is for you. I'll give it back. Shut up. Nobody uses these fucking things. I'm just saying, like, here, take them. Like, if you want them, fuck yeah, dude. But, like, they're not really valuable at all. My dad worked in the printing industry for 20 years. He probably has something to say, but he's asleep. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, look it. Here's another good Cosmog. Well, I think it is, at least. Let's compare to the misprint that we just got. Nope. Ours is unique. Ours is unique. Interesting. That's really fun. John Soyo goes, little known fact, those cards also get you 5% off at Bed Bath & Beyond. I like it. I like it. Let's get some heat out of this ETB. Let's start moving her here. Okay, you know what? It's a beginning. It's a foundation with which we can build our empire. All right? Do you have an entire celebration set? I do. A few times over, actually. Probably three times over I have. And then some of them, like the Charizard celebrations, I got like seven of them, dude. 50 cents on that. We do take those. And on the end, okay, you know what? We take that pack. That's a pretty good pack. We'll take it. You know, a couple of the lower tier cards, but the Surfing Peak 2 VMAX is a couple of dollars at least. That ain't bad. We do take them, Ted. We do. Boom. Do you have one, Camsty? Are you a collector? Let me pop this one in here. Man, I'm having a great night tonight, guys. I'm in a good, good, good mood here today. Yesterday was fun. The only downside for a lot of the streaming shit is it's like, it's taking a lot of energy out of me and my voice is just, ah, like I'm really running low on, <clears throat> oh, you know what I mean? But I'm having such a great time. This is a good headspace week for me. Really good headspace week. I'm feeling great. I looks good. I smells good. <laughs> it's been, it's been a vibe over here lately, you know? Doing a lot of good work with Sven. Ian came over last night. We had a good little talk and hung out and just vibe and came up with some good ideas for shit. New here, DVD logo bouncing is genius. I don't even think I can take credit for that one. It's a good shit post. Excuse me, how's your game coming? It's coming along great. I can't wait to show more here. Probably, I'd say in the spring or summer of this year, might even be able to get a little peek at stuff. Probably not a playable version, you know, but I can, I can share some more news on it. But thank you, it's going great. Got another meeting tomorrow with our sound team. It'll be awesome. Misprint on Groudon? Oh, are you just asking to check here? Or did you think you saw something, Meliodas Pilots? Team Magma's Groudon. Hmm, interesting. I'm going to look. I'm going to compare it to the other one just to be safe because anything goes in this box. But uh, I, I definitely have one that we pulled in the previous box. We'll take a look at it after this. Wet Yoke. <laughs> Proud of all you do. Love stream mom. Wet Yoke. Thank you, Wet Yoke. That's a good name either way. Good memes. Good to have you for almost a year. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. On the left or right hand side? Um, Is that you asking or saying again? I can't tell. Let me pull them out here. We can take a peek, uh, pilots. That's the one from the box with the error in it. And our first... Oh, no, we had a fucking Dawn fan in here. I, I got a grout on here, dude. These come up all the time. Let's take a peek. The Pikachu symbol. Hold on, hold on. 
There's got to be a grout on here. Radiant Jirachi. These are some pulls from like last night, which by the way, great heat here last night. These are even the lower tier ones that are each are worth, you know, usually at least a couple of dollars. So, ah, uh, don't do it, don't do it. Yep, there we go. Here we go. Dink. So this is an old grout on. I'll set that one down there. <clears throat> The Pikachu symbol. Isn't it supposed to be? Oh, it's the same. Okay, so here's the old one in right, and the new one is in the left. No, I think it's the same. I think it's fine. Pretty cool, though. Still cool. All right, we'll put them both there. Bink. Chilling rain. Come on, let's get some heat out of here, dude. I want that Galarian Moltres V. I don't know why I'm allowing myself to believe anymore, but here I am. You know, I'm believing like an asshole. Matt Zachman goes, it's just all Pokemon to me. Well, to each their own. Chilling rain. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I don't want to do it. I did it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, chilling rain, bro. I can't do it anymore. Anytime a pack pops up, I'll do it. But I just, I'm not even seeking them out. I just can't have my heart get broken anymore. I want that Galarian Moltres V. I never want to open another card from this entire set. I think chilling rain is getting slept on, though. They didn't really print the shit out of it. <clears throat> and there's a lot of great alt arts with the three big birds in there. I think it's going to probably age pretty well. It's still pretty cheap. Can you get shiny Pokemon variants like in the game? You can depending on the set. Every set is different. So every time the pack looks different that we're opening, it's different potentials. There's not necessarily a Charizard in every pack, you know? Reshiram. Yveltal. Lugia. Darn it. Oh my god, dude. It's not looking good here on our ETB. Why do we press the luck? We got so lucky the other night. Why do we press it? Alright, we'll keep them coming. Seems like there aren't as many hits in Chilling. Yeah, the biggest thing holding Chilling Rain back is the fact that the pull rates in it, too, are probably some of the worst pull rates in modern sets. What that means is that you're going to have a way statistically lower chance on any given pack of pulling a hollow or even a good card in there. That being said, I think that the cards that are featured in the alternate art gallery are really nice. Calyrex, the three big birds and shit, the Zorua or whatever, or Zeraora V, that one is awesome, dude. 55 cents on that Zama, says Matt Sackman. All right, come on. Dude, I wonder the Rayquaza, bro. That one yesterday hit. We're getting Rayquazas like nuts lately, too. In fact, I bet we got one right here. Check it out. No, dude, another Reshiram. Bro, okay. I guess I'll go ham on the Reshiram all goddamn day, dude. I'll do it. Reshiram. All right, sick. I'm happy about that. I'm happy about that. $3 raw. That's a weird, like, kind of mid-range hit out of celebrations, you know? Of like, dude, it's good to be celebrated. But you're just like, oh, yeah. Every time I see that, I go, oh, yeah, I forgot that's in that set. Same with the Zekrom that looks like that's all black. Gus, if you had to pick one of your fingers to be four inches longer, which one would you pick? Oh, man. Well, if you choose your pointer finger or your thumb, that's a bad idea. That's some of your biggest grip strength fingers. Um, damn, I don't know. Middle finger probably just as a meme. <laughs> yeah. How many TikToks could you make with that? You build a whole little shitty career for a year around that, you know? Yeah. I'm the guy with a foot long middle finger. Yeah. There you go. Got him. Got him. Two Russian Rams. Kind of chill. Reminds me of the snuff box guitar scene. I don't know what that is. Tim, have a good rest of your night, dude. I'll tuck it out over there in Maryland, bro. Let's go. Thank you, Tim, for joining us. Have a good rest of your night. Yeah, Kano Smash is a good point. Is all the length in one joint, or are the joints spread out so it just goes like tick, 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 and keeps curling around, bro? Wow, honestly, um, just so you know, I'm not even joking. Um, I think <laughs> you want to know how much of a piece of shit I am. I, 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 I'm like 90% sure I've got a Charizard in here. I'm not even doing like a bit, you know, of like, wow, it's gonna pay off. I, I'm just, I'm, I want to show you how much my brain has just sunk into this hobby at this point. Do you see this microscopic little pattern on the top? Micro peeking out. I mean, it's definitely a hit card, but I can already tell with the spacing of the white on the black. I'm honestly, I'm, I'm like 90% sure that there's a Charizard VMAX in here at top pole. And no, I'm, and, and this is, I could have seen that and I could have made the streamer decision to like juice it, 
you know, knowingly and act surprised, but I'm gonna be straight with you guys. Like, I ain't juicing shit here. Like, what we see is what we get. We fuck around sometimes. Now, I could be wrong, but I'm just saying I see that and I'm like, wow, holy shit, I'm actually pretty sure that this is a Charizard, okay? Nozard does not equal Scrimsu, bro. I think this is a Charizard VMAX, which is the top pull in the entire set. That'd be fucking nuts. First of all, I'm gonna look over here though, okay? I'm, I don't feel confident enough to bet. I know I'm saying 90% and that sounds like it's at odds or whatever, but... Oh, I didn't even see. Which one was it? Okay, fuck. So that's green and white. Darkness and Blaze. Green and white, just for the record, okay? Um, I'm not even going to do the pack trick. I'm just going to go right to it, okay? But I want to see if my theory's correct, because I did that before. I did that before. I think that's what's on the top of the card there. All right? I mean, I'm still going to be fucking amped. Don't get me wrong. I'm just not going to lie and pretend to be surprised and be like, Whoa! If it is, I saw that and my heart went, Oh! Come on, dude. Pan Sage. Oh, you got the silence in the chat. Here we go. Vanillite. Trapinch. Here's the reverse. Tauros. And on the end. Damn you, you son of a bitch! Oh, that was hurtful. That was hurtful, Riot. <laughs> I'm not getting shrimp, bro. Dude, imagine if it was a fucking error card, though, dude, and it was right behind there. Holy shit. All right, I mean, Santa Scorch VMAX, that's a dollar or two. I'm just saying, that looks exactly, exactly like it. Can I? Okay, Char. Yeah, fuck, I keep forgetting my keyboard's broken every time. Char. I. Zard. Here we go. VMAX. Darkness ablaze. Okay, I will drag an image onto the screen so you can see the exact spacing in the top left, too, okay? I got hard for nothing. It's okay. You can take a uh, nice little five-minute break there. Go suss it out. Okay, good. Here's an image. I'm going to drop an image on the screen. One of the few times, guys, that I get my shit together and I actually provide you with an image reference for what I'm talking about. I'm learning. I'm growing. Seriously, shrimp for lying. I'm, can I just drag a web image from the fucking Chrome browser onto here? Or do I have to save it? Save image as, sure. Char. Oh, it's a web P. Why does everything do that now? Fuck you. You should warn me if it's a web P. I want to make a sketch on that. How many of you guys go to jo download a goddamn JPEG or a PNG? And it goes, fuck you, web P. Fuck you. I hate that. Computers suck now. I want it back when I was a kid. That was easy. Just go online to miniclip.com. You play Save the Sheriff, that little game where the pig is trying to escape. Maybe it's on this image? That might help. Too damn much. Never? Constantly? Thank you. Anyone that says never is lying. Anyone that says never is lying. No. Just let me fucking save an image. This is not worth the payoff. Fuck you. And this one is actually worth the payoff. I'll, I'll back down. This one's worth the payoff. Save link. No, not save link. Save image as JPEG. Fucking thank you. Fucking thank you. Fucking thank you. Okay, I'm going to drop an image of the Charizard on there. I particularly want you to look at the top left corner here and the fact that this is orange and shit, all right? It looks literally identical, so you understand why I would fall for this. Boink. Let's make that really small. In fact, here, look, I can even probably alt trim, I think. Is it control trim? I don't remember. Shift. Ah, no, 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 no. Anyway, I'm going to go side by side right now. You know what I mean, bro? You know what I mean? Like, actually, though, you see what I'm talking about? The spacing is the exact same. Okay, yeah. You see how a man would think that, right? You see how a man would think that. Exactly. Again, I, and I don't want to double dip because I know that my credibility is at an all-time high here. Can I just say, though... I've really demonstrated my hyper-aware Toy Story 2 man with the triple tick 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 glasses to fix Woody awareness of this hobby twice in 20 minutes. The man, it's like I have eyes in my fingertips, you know what I mean? I can see all, I know everything. I know everything. Ted is ju Ted, you, I know you're just playing the heel right now, but I am not when I say go to bed, Ted. Go to bed. This second, Dicey Cast goes, okay, you've won this round, Johnson, you won this round. <laughs> All right, get that char out of there. Get the fuck out of here. Yes, delete. 
a master of his craft. The character's name is Gary. There's a shortcut about him. Gary or Jerry? I didn't see it. Anyway, I'm making a meal out of the Santa Scorch VMAX, but I do know my stuff. We do have another Darkness of Blaze pack. Let's open it right now. It'd be kind of funny if we got the uh, Charizard out of there after this stupid big labor of love. Like, I'm looking for one to compare it to for five minutes. I can't download the web file and shit. And then we just pull a physical example right afterwards. Now, that would be the thing. I'm not even going to do the pack trick on it because I don't even want to risk me peeking. I don't trust myself, my brain, eyes, or heart. So we're just going to show you right now what we get. Darkness of Bla a Blaze, dude. Gus Tick 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 Johnson. <laughs> that one hurts more than any of them all. Combined scription. Here we go. Darkness of Blaze. Gus, what happened this time? Nothing bad. Nothing bad. Jace Car, thanks for subbing up. Thank you very much. And then Jace Car says, good night. You as well. Thank you so much, Jace Car. I appreciate you doing that. Always good to see you here. All right, Darkness of Blaze, Galarian, Mr. Mime, Torchic, Aaron, Ruka D, Staravia. Well, the prophecy was not foretold in this situation. Toxapex, Clang, Dark Green. There you go. Here you go, by the way. Mad Villain uh, MC. Thank you for subbing up Berdershner. I always like seeing those names there. Berdershner, Mad Villain. Thank you guys so much. Uh, Excuse me. Didn't mean it. Guys, let me go get some water in my cup, okay? Two wee little minutes and I'll return. Perhaps three and a half. Let's assume three and a half. Tisk tisk tisk. Why don't you guys have faith in my punctuality? Give me one reason you shouldn't. Because you're usually late whenever we get on Warzone. What? Wait, I'm late? 
I probably only one or two times though. <laughs> Every time he's like, Every time we play video games, he says, I'll be on at ten. It's at least twenty-five. At least. That's a good day when it's only twenty-five. Um, I think I need to step away from Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Did I make it over 3.30, though? Snowblitz says, uh, Sven, I just realized that the glasses make you look somewhat more like Thor. There you go. Thank you, Snowblitz. What up, Thor gamers? Is, Thor is cool. Also, yeah, Thor, I got a couple comments in one of my videos saying, like, Thor is just Sven with blonde hair and glasses. <laughs> and I was like, huh. Oh, what the, the heck? I guess it doesn't hit me as much. Sven, we're gonna open some hot shit right now, Please okay? Let me do that. Oh, oh the, big, the big boy. The big, the big boy here. Meowth time, baby. It's yeah, time. Know. There is a uh, Cosmic Eclipse pack in here, another Cosmic Eclipse pack, a Unified Minds pack, and an Evolutions pack. Let's do it. Oh, which one do I get to do? Uh, you can do it. Which one do you want? <laughs> Cosmic Eclipse. All right, Cosmic Eclipse it is. I feel like you should open that. I'll do the evolutions. I mean, it seems also, really dude, by the way, we were in the card shop yesterday, and uh, I saw the PSA 10 Charizard from Evolutions was in here, yeah. and they had two thousand dollars listed on it. And at first, oh, I'm not joking. I looked it up and I was like, "Fuck that! That's not right." Yeah, yeah, that's pretty close. Wait, actually, that's pretty close. Hundred percent, dude. What the hell? Look at this here. Pokemon XY Evolutions Shiny Char... No, fuck you. I'm gonna do it again. Pokemon XY Evolutions Charizard PSA 10 price. If I go to the PSA website, and if I sort by 10s... Alright, Charizard Hollow. Sort by 10s. These are sold sales data. Jesus 18... Christ. This is from right at the end of last year here. It's December 26th, three weeks ago. $1,800, two days before that, $1,900, $2,000 on Christmas Eve. So if we get a PSA 10 Charizard out of this oh one, God. that will be the most expensive card that I own right now. I'm hugging wow. a lot of modern bulk. I've just dropped it on the floor. The evolutions? Yeah, definitely. Oh. Where can I even put my thing? Your drink? Where? That's pretty good, I guess. Mad Villain says dibs on the Charizard. Okay, okay. Okay, here we go. Cosmic Eclipse, right there. What's the best one of this? Cosmic Eclipse, the top hit in this one, I believe, is a Snorlax Eevee combo tag team card. Um, if it's not that, then it might be a Charizard and Reshiram tag team rainbow, dude. Whoa. I'm going to stand up. I don't want to squinch your little toesies. Whoop. All right, Sven. Let's get into it. It's Cosmic Eclipse time, folks. I'm gonna lift that mines pack off. I'm gonna slide this over mm -hmm. here. Thank you. This is a pretty cool pack too. I like it. So, was XY Evolutions also Sun and Moon era? No, it's the the XY era is the era. Oh. That's why this product makes no sense. They must have not been able to predict at all what was gonna be a super valuable pack going into 2020 because this box came out in 2020. It's got packs from 2019 and 2016 in it, you know? What the fuck? That makes no sense! Mm -hmm. Also, look at my little scenes. I showed you like a couple times ago, but they're so cute. The scenes? Like uh, my the television and the outside the window. Oh, yeah. Get the DVD video thing going on. I didn't realize you can just save GIFs. Just boop, layer, GIF. What do you mean? That's just a GIF. What the fuck? Yeah, dude. Oh, dude, that's awesome. I like the rainy too. Two, three, four to the front? Uh, which one is it? Cosmic? Yeah. Yes. Okay. XY is not four to the front? XY is three. They do not include energies in XY. Ooh, okay. Okay. Interesting. Okay. I'm very Excuse excited. Me. There's a red guy. Come on. Ooh, a little hurtier. That looks like that dog's name should be Sir Kensington. <laughs> Celio. <laughs> doesn't it? Celio, draw energy. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Skrelp. <laughs> Pikachu, how's the centering? 
Uh, good? Pretty good. All right, sit like on it. top. We'll sleeve it. Really? You think that'd be a good one? It's fine. That's maybe 30 cents right now, but I'm long hauling some of these. Teddy Urso? <laughs> Nose bass. What the nice. fuck? I haven't seen any of these in a while. Lit Leo. Okay. Sunflora. Okay. Come on. No. Oh, all right. No. Man. How cool is that Sunflora, though? I actually want to sleeve it because of how pretty it is. I ah, did... just basking. That is the first time I've ever seen that Pokemon ever. Really? Yeah, yeah. wait. Actually, me too. Yeah. I've never, I didn't even know that was a thing. Huh. So was it new for this era, and then they just, like, stopped it or something? No, I think it's older than this set, but uh, it's just not commonly featured, so. Okay, I get you. I mean, I know Sunkern. I've caught a lot of Sunkern on Pokemon Go. I've just never evolved one. And it evolves into a Sunflora? I guess it does, yeah. Sweet. Dude, why don't you hit us with hit us with another one, dude? Okay. All right. Cosmic Eclipse. Cosmic Eclipse. Here we I go. Like this has got the rainbow in the top right. We're doing all four of these in a row, by oh, the way. Baby. All four in a row. It's ripping right through them, dude. I got the box so cheap, you meant so cheap. If for me, I just had to buy. If we get that Charizard, that's gonna be life changing. Life changing, bro. That is gonna be insane, though. That, that is would be, be huge. Nuts. That'd be a record for you on your stream. Yeah, definitely the most expensive card one, we pulled on the stream two, if we get it. Three. Or to the front. Do you know the current most expensive card? The one on stream? the one that I have right now that holds the highest value, that has fluctuated significantly, but I believe it is currently the Rainbow Champions Path Charizard that I did not pull, but I bought wrong. Ah, gotcha, okay. Which is not fun. <laughs> That's not a fun answer. Okay. Uh, there's a blue. Whoa. Cosmo and Hala. Different trainer cards. Rotom, so Erica. The, oh, I guess the top pull now, Balloonatic is saying, is uh, Rosa, the trainer, full art. Okay, shit. Erica, PewDiePie. Nice. Helicopter. Oops, Carvana. Oh. T Pig, sleepy little guy. I've not seen that one before. Toga, Toga Demar, Toga Damaru. Coughing reverse. Coughing cool. reverse. Oh, oh two skunks. shit. Two skunks. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. Okay. Unified minds time. Unified minds time. Oh, are you going to rip the last two? Sure. Yes. All okay. Right. I'm, so, I'm excited. I haven't opened Unified I want to see this X, Y, and Dude, I have not I have not opened a Unified mind pack in, in over a year. I got so lucky. Last year I found, uh, actually it was probably a year and a half ago. I was buying them for like $290 for a booster box, but... Good luck finding one under 600 bucks right now, you know? Pretty, pretty close. All right, here we go. Unified Minds. Top pull on this one is either going to be... Um, excuse me. There's a big Misty card in here, I think, is a big one. There is a Alternate Art, Alolan Exeggutor, and Rowlet Tag Team. And there is... God, I don't even remember. You don't remember the third one? No! I don't. I just, I'm inundated with it. Honestly, after this pack, before the evolutions, guys, I gotta just, I gotta kiss my own ass for first find a little bit, okay? I gotta remind him. I had two absolute, pretty damn good eye catches that I had in the last, like, hour here. Okay, I don't know what direction this code card is gonna be in. I'm kind of afraid. Honestly, I'm not gonna do a pack trick just because I don't want to spoil it because this is a big, fun, exciting pack. And it's really unpredictable with some of these older set stuff, you know? Okay. Stunfisk. No pack trick. Unified Minds. God, uh, who knows when we're going to open one of those again. Gibble. Lick your tongue. Come on, baby. Dwebble. Ooh, on, looking baby. at the Moltres up there. That is so cool. Oh, it's lurking. We're going to get the big Moltres hit. Reverse. Oh, no. One more. Mana. Here's the reverse. Give us a Pikachu or something. Salandit. Ah. Not good. Ah. Not good. Ah. Here we go. And on the end. Oh, bro. The top pull in Unified Minds is Mewtwo and Mew GX Secret Rare. I bet we got it right here. Oh, come on, come on. Damn ah. it. Oh, oh, my God, dude. We're 0 for 3 on this whole box. Rip the XY Evolutions. Okay. No more screwing around. No more nice. screwing around. Anyway, I saw a card that had the same top as the Charizard VMAX, and I showed him a little side-by-side -side comparison. But more than anything, I pulled a slight a printing error card. I got one. It's not severe enough to be really worth a lot, though. But this Cosmog, I pulled it, and I was like, holy shit, wait. I was like, hold on. 
That is dark as fuck behind it. I was like, damn, that, that art of the girl behind there is so dark. And then Chad was like, duh. Actually, no, they weren't really dissenting, but I just made a big deal out of it. But I was like, let me pull out another one for reference. I knew it. Yeah, no, that's how I was it like, is. I knew it. My eye can they see. No, they. I was just pretending like they were like, Gus, we don't believe in you, to create like sort of a kind of foil character for my hero story I was trying to convey. But they were honestly pretty uh, benign. <laughs> Sweet. Sven, he's hamming it up. No one else really saw the resemblance. Shut the <laughs> fuck up, bro. Get out of here, dude. Yo, thank you, Ted, by the way, and thank you, Aston Gucci. We're going to open our XY Evolutions pack. Wow. I've not opened one of these in two years. Yeah, Two dude. years, dude. Aston Goocher, thank you so much. Pull me a good one, Gustian, for my sweet 18. Happy birthday. Big char. Here we go. XY Evolutions. Yep, right now these are going for around $30 a pack. <gasps> Thankfully, I did not spend that. I got very lucky on that whole Mew V Max box. Uh, Gusty is smell. There is. Whoa. This is old school XY Evolutions, are you ready? Oh man, I have I am stoked. These are there is a, a booster box in the card shop that we go to that's selling uh, or, you know for like probably nine hundred and twenty five dollars. I think yeah, is the so. biggest price on it right now. Again, I'm oh I'm scared. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how to check if it's a code card. I really fucking yeah. hope. Just like blind show it to me. Just tell me, tell me if you see the back of the code card. Do you see the back? Yes. It's dark green. It's dark green. Ah! Yo! Okay. Okay. It, first of all, any Charizard would be great, but the top pull is the like reprint of the classic one. If we get the reverse though, I'm telling you that is still an enormous deal because it's still hundreds of dollars for the regular reverse what? version of the original art. We're going for either of the two original arts. There is another Charizard in there. There are lower tiers of Charizards. All of them are fucking excellent and I'm gonna send them all in to get graded if we get it. Okay. Here we go. Let's they're dude. Here. They're doing silence in the chat. It's three to the front because it's evolutions. X Y era. <gasps> great centering. Great, great. Okay. Oh, the borders are beautiful on it too. That's gonna be good. Okay, we'll see what it is. We'll see what it is. Poppy or Gabba Bell says I want to play Hot Wheels on your chest, and that's why we need silence in the chat, not for the pull luck, but so that I never have to read that ever again. Hey, Poppy Air. Good morning. I hope you're doing well, dude. All right, here we go. Magmar. Bro, the oh, old sweet. cards, the old that's fucking sweet. cards are so awesome on this one. Dang, Mark. Venusaur Spirit Link. Dude, I'll take a Venusaur, too. Dude, any, any hit in this is going to be awesome. Honestly, some of these commons and uncommons, we're kind of hoping for, like, a Pikachu or, like, a Charmander or something, too, or Bulbasaur. Squirtle would be tits, too, dude. Rattata. <sighs> Weedle. Come on. Ooh, Voltorb! Oh, oh, I love seeing this old art, dude. Here we go. Squirtle? Oh, Poliwag! I think there's like three or four more. Okay. Ghastly. I think the next one might be the reverse. Okay, 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 okay. Hoping for a Charizard. Might be the reverse. Oh, I thought that was orange. Didn't you think that was orange? I know, yeah, I did. I totally thought that that was orange oh, right shit. there, dude. Oh, oh. Nidorino's okay. It's like, right, it's fine. Right. It's fine. It's still fine. cool. What's cool. on the end? And on the end. <gasps> what the fuck? Oh, 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 my God. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, bro! Oh my god! Oh! Oh my Close your mouth! Close your mouth! There's not gonna be spit on this! Oh my god! Clip it! Clip that, please! Clip that! Clip that! Oh, I'm shaking! Dude, this is the first time in a long time I've actually been. Oh! 
Oh! Position the card saver right now. Oh! Oh my god. That is the most valuable card I've ever pulled in my entire life. No fucking way. Wow. What? Wow. Sometimes, Holy you know shit. What? Sometimes dreams do come true. Oh my god. What are the odds That's of that, insane. bro? What are the fucking oh. odds? Oh my god, hold on, careful. What a fucking rush. Careful. Oh, oh my dang. god. I can't believe god. that. Chat, you are going nuts. Thank you oh for all the god. subs and the fucking bits. I will get to it in a second. Oh my god. I don't god. want to miss anybody, Dude, bro. I, I didn't believe it. Oh. I saw that shit. I didn't believe I it. I couldn't believe that either. Wow. Oh, oh my god. That could potentially be $2,000, bro. That is not fucking Look, bad. Let's check the centering. I mean, it's not one trillion percent perfect, but I'm telling you, on some of these X Y ones, it depends on the population of them. That I could yeah. see that punching up to a ten. Even a nine would be insane, bro. Holy shit! <clears throat> Excuse me, I, dude. I just about had a fucking aneurysm as soon that as I is saw insane. that. Like, wow. How many times have we gone? Okay, let's hope we get the top pull, and it's just like, oh, okay, cool. If there was ever a time for this to pay off, the other three packs were shit too! Oh my god, this is exactly what we need. They were shit too! Wow, bro! Why aren't you wearing gloves? No, get, commonly asked question, PSA does not use gloves, it's okay. Wow. Uh, Dude, I, I just destroyed my voice. That was <laughs> nuts. That, that was, was so nuts. Cool. I can't believe that, that just thing. happened. Look at that. I can't believe that. Wow, 2016 Charizard Evolutions. That uh, that doesn't happen. It, that does not happen ever. God damn. Dude, I'm still buzzing after that. I'm seriously, I'm going to lose my mind. I peed Ugh. my pants. That's why I left the room. Don't pee. Please don't do that ever. The odds are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I love this one. Hey, I haven't seen the stream, uh, stream in a while. Why is guys always wearing a lobster suit? Because <laughs> I keep <laughs> fucking up, bro. God, dude! Oh my lord! I'm so glad you saw that too. Dude, and we were like, oh man, we just got a new arena. I know, dude. Oh my god. Oh, holy shit! I'm PSA so 10. For that. PSA 10. 1900 to 2000 dollars. Let's hope. Let's pray. Yes. It's a tiny bit scooch left. It's a tiny bit scooch left. But I could see it still punching up to a 10. Yeah. Cause I'm gonna put all of my fucking cards in so clean. I'm gonna have little pull tabs. I'm gonna be so polite, and maybe the human error will eat that up. I I, I can still pray. It's close enough to hope. <laughs> it's close enough to hope. Where's it go for in PSA 9? It's like, dude, it's the X at 100 dollars, which I'm scared to, to believe right now. What, honest PSA to God. 9? Yeah, I'm scared to have that drop up, but that's not out of the ordinary for stuff, though. Really? Look it up! Gus, look at the points bet. I'll pay it out, but it is a good bit. Okay, wait, is there really one up there right now? Let's see it. I gotta, I gotta go on my end here. Let me take a peek. Dude, I know chat just popped off with the subs and biddies, by the way. Dude, thank you. I will read everyone out. I just, I'm catching up with reality right now. Wow. Hold on. Thank you, Gustin. You did it. Okay, prediction. Guess the energy. Nothing, nothing, nothing. What's an energy? I'm gonna pick five. Don't waste your points. <laughs> I'm surprised that yielded a few thousand points, frankly. <laughs> it's a good meme, though. Oh, my God. Dude, uh, honestly, holy shit. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, I, can't, I cannot believe that. Let's see that back again. Yeah, I mean, the back is even better in the front, frankly. Let's take a look at that. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's even better in the front, but still, like, I'm hoping, dude. Danny just goes, I think just end the stream now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's wild. And chat went on to waste their points. I mean, goddamn. They do. Traxxas, thank you. My mom says you can come sleep over. You want to stay up all night and open a Pokemon cards? Yes, Traxxas. Thank you for the biddies. Inflit, thank you. I have such a massive erection right now. Ted, we were all here. Holy fucking shit. I don't know. I have to remind you that we take those. Can you please put that on the subreddit? I don't even think that that's a shit thing to call for. Like, put that fucking one on the subreddit. Please, dude. That's the biggest poll. That's, that's the, the biggest, biggest poll ever. I've ever done. I've, I've been opening cards for two years. I've, we've done it on 
guest streams, like I've opened like more valuable cards for like Bruce Green and shit, you know. But for my own card, that's the biggest card I've ever pulled for myself here, we were dude. Opening from this uh, set. Yeah, and we didn't get one of them in the hot tub with Bruce, bro. And, this and we got this on the one pack in the fucking V Max. Box. I know, dude. And we were, it was like looking real dull for us. It was looking real dreary. Wild. Yeah, so dang cool you guys had Sven with you. Great memory, dude. Absolutely. That was a good me. I'm so glad you were there for that one. That yeah, was really. the top one you could have been here for. <laughs> Rystar says, I wasn't looking. All I hear is screaming after I came back. I don't think you were screaming loud enough. Great pull, my guy. <laughs> Hilarious. Video, thank you, Videotron. Aves, thank you so much for the multi-month. Thank you, Aves. Nicodemos goes, yo! Thank you so much, Nicodemos. I, I peace out and, and piss out. But anyway, see you later, Jack. Bye, Good Sven. Boy. Thanks for being here. Brought all the good luck, baby. He did, dude. You guys can't ever fucking add Sven again on the luck department. Adef, take a seat. Gus, take a seat. Sven's the top luck bringer over here. Let's be real, bro. Let's be real, bro. Uh, I'm literally my. It feels like somebody poured Sprite into my central nervous system right now. Ted is hitting us with a tight fiver. Ted, thank you so much for celebrating seven up. Bill Nye the Science Fly. Flick, flick. Is it flick, 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 flick? Social work, Carl Selksky, Lethal Potent, Fraggle Rocker, Bob Nitty, thank you for the biddies too, dude. Happy 14 months, Trax is celebrating, let's go, 14 months. Also, Inflit with a tight fiber to celebrate, bro. Thank you, Ted and Inflit so much for the big hype, let's go, dude. Also, Aston Goocher, we did pull you a big one for your big uh, 18, let's go, dude. Thank you, Inflit and Ted and everybody else, let's fucking go, bro. <laughs> oh, God, I can't believe that shit. All right. I mean, I want to keep going. Are you? Who's up? Are you? Is anyone up still? I, that is certainly one to end on. But I'm just like, I wasn't even planning on jumping off. I just was like, what the fuck? Are we? Like, are we still doing it? I mean, I'm still in. I was planning on being live for like three, four hours anyway. Cyclic Rick or Cyclic Rick? I hope it's Cyclic Rick. Maybe it's Cyclic Rick, dude. Treat yourself. Do the box at the card shop, my guy. No, I can't off that. I can't do that, dude. You're all here? Okay, good. I'm ready for more. It's a Thirsty Thursday. Who's getting silly with us, dude? Charizard out the pack, bro. God damn. Wow. I I still, I'm looking at it. I cannot believe that that's mine. I just, I see it back there. I can't believe it's mine. Honestly, that's the kind of shit. Oh, that's the kind of shit you dream about right there, everybody. I'm not buying the booster. That's a great meme, but I'm definitely not buying the booster. It's just way more money than I usually like spending on like a single product. It's a great meme. There's the clip. There's the clip. Thank you, ZX, for posting the clip down there. There's the pull. That absolutely is one of my dreams. Oh! Sorry, that was the worst ever. So loud. I'm watching that clip back for myself at a low volume right now. That's how full of myself I am, guys. That's how insanely full of myself I am. Here we go. I'm not even showing you. I'm just... <laughs> All right. That's fun. That's such good fun. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being here for that, bro. I'm so glad it wasn't alone. That is so fun. I love streaming. I love Pokemon, dude. I fucking love doing this shit. I'm so glad to be able to spend this time with you guys. Mm, that's so fun. That is so fun. All right, dude, what? I want to open one of these right now. What if we get its brother? What if we get its brother? What if we get it out of celebrations? Get a celebrations Charizard out of there. Next pack. Next pack. Here we go. Here we go. I can't pronounce it. Sampled stuffed X. I never can. I've had four opportunities, but I can't figure out. But stuffed. Thank you so much for your prime sub, dude. Ted goes, I unironically feel like we are bonded forever now. <laughs> LOL. Dude, I love it. We're going to remember this. This is going to be an actual fucking I was here moment for the stream over here. That was so fun, dude. Oh, that was so fun. I, I literally, I don't give a shit what happens the rest of the stream. Can't top that. Can't top that. I love it. ZX is posting again. Thank you, dude. Let's get another Charizard out of here. Watch this. Okay, but that would have been so fun, though. <laughs> okay, but how cool would that have been, though? Okay, but that was a movie moment. Universe, God, that was such a movie moment. Why'd you take that from us? Why'd you take that from... Sorry about the universe and everything, guys. 
Sorry about that. Where were you when Gus pulled the Zard, bro? Not hard. Not hard, that's for sure. And on the end... Wow. I love this. I love this. Happy fucking Mew year, bro. 34. Mew number 34. I told you. I said I predict 35 Mews by the end of the night. Some people said I was going too high. Some people said I was even getting too high. I'm about to prove them wrong right now. 35 is in this ETB. I feel it. There's still three packs left. Four packs left in this ETB? Bro, we got heat ahead of us right now. I just, I keep seeing it back here, dude. I can't believe it. One pack, one opportunity. I now have a Charizard, like, reverse and a Charizard hollow out of evolutions. I'm done. I, I mean, I know there's other heat in there. I never have to fucking buy one of those ever. I told you I haven't opened an evolutions pack in two years. Two years. I never get them anyway. The whole reason... I even got one was because I found this errant sale for a Meowth VMAX box that had two Cosmic Eclipse packs, a Unified Minds pack, three Meowth promo cards, and an Evolutions pack. I just got it. There's one pack. One pack. Gus, can we see your stack of Mews? I don't have it all consolidated right now. It's a little bit uh, spread out. Otherwise, it would be a lot more visually interesting. Put it next to the Blastoise. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Put it next to the Blastoise. Oh, look at that. Thing, thing is, people are going to think that that's a celebration, or not a celebrations one, though. Uh, Excuse me, I don't want to mislead. It's okay, here we go, celebrations. I still think that it's possible to get the Charizard out of here, though. I found the God Pack. Good night, everyone. Bruce, you have a good rest of your night, dude. <laughs> he beat the game. Figured out all the rules, pretty much hacked it. It's a Unix system, I know this. I know this. Here we go. You ready? Zekrom. Palkia. Oh, dude, every time I see orange now in celebrations, bro, I'm gonna have a little heart attack. How about another Mew? See, now that's what I call music 46. Mew 35. It took me two more packs, you sons of bitches. Two more packs. I don't even want to see it. All these are centered super well, too, by the way. Pretty happy about that. Music. Also, not liking the music underneath me right now. Get this shit off. It's ugly. It's ugly. Ooh, this sounds a little bit more pleasant. That's what I call music 35. See, Danielle, if I had you on my writing staff, I would have said it the right the first time, dude. It, I should have just said it. I don't know why I made up 46. I thought it was an arbitrary number. I missed a double dip chip opportunity for two jokes. And I passed one up. I left one on the table. That's okay, though. That's okay. I like this one. Guys, pretty soon, you will be like the Diamond Cartel and control the value of Mew with how much that you have. 300 and what? You want in? Invest? I got an exciting investment opportunity for you, my friend. You'll be at the ground floor. I'm going to show them right now. I got to show the people. I got to take it to the masses right now. Um, here we go. All right. Just taking a little look ski over here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Gosh, you ever play Stardew Valley? No, I, I mean, I, I have a little bit, but I've never really fully sunk into it to the extent that I really should. You know what I mean? I like it. I, I'm not, this isn't even a gripe at all, but for my personal interests, it is a little slower and more of a contemplative, methodical, paced out approach to some gameplay feedback loops than I typically like. But I'm just like, I'm just, I got no problems with it. It's such a labor of love. I love everything about Stardew Valley. I just haven't had an opportunity to fully sink into it my, myself yet. And I think it's a little slower for me, but not at all a gripe. Not at all a gripe, okay? I'm going to take a photo here for chat. I got to get a big smile on my face, okay? Guys, I did a big smile. That way they know I'm happy, I'm, ha I'm expressing and experiencing joy right now. That's how I was able to conve convey that to them, you know? There's my face. Hello. Hello, Gus. Holy shit. Evolutions. Holy shit. In No, I will just say evolutions. Charizard. And 
and then I will make this one be in purple. That will be lovely for the folks at home, everybody. All right, well, we're gonna keep opening over here. Um, I'm gonna open some celebrations packs. And, oh, I've got some XY Fates Collide still, too. XY Fates Collide, this will be chill. Gus, was that from the pack you totally didn't murder that guy at the thrift store in Wisconsin for? <laughs> oh, yes, it, it fucking was. <clears throat> <clears throat> Thought you signed an NDA to not tell me about the thrift store experience. All right, that's a good meme. Let's open a Fates Collide. XY has been good to us. We're hoping for that Alakazam Umbreon one. Thank you guys. I know that slowed down massively for like 15 minutes after we pulled that. That's a that's a showstopper. When you open Pokemon cards regularly for almost two full years and you pull the top pull of your entire life, you take 15 minutes. <laughs> you make a meal out of it, dude. I appreciate you guys being here for that. I'm, I'm, dude, I'm having a fucking blast tonight. My voice, you can hear how shot it is, though. But my, I tell you what, my energy's at 10 out of 10. It's just my voice is down a little bit. These things happen. Trainer, Mega Catcher. A Brakeson. I do like that Brakeson right there. Hello, Witch Tits. Good to see you. What the fuck is that? N. Finish the name. Carbink. Is this actually a guy's name? Or is it like an abbreviation? What the fuck? What is this? Is his name N? Oh, sorry. That's for real? Oh, that's his actual name, dude? TOS name. No, oh, hey. I know. No. <laughs> Burmy Bronzor. Binacle. Snubble. Oh my god. What the fuck is this? Step Snubble. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> Hey, Step Snubble. <laughs> no. <laughs> Balloonatic literally just says no. <laughs> just not, not even gonna entertain that. Nah. Mm -mm. The hand reaching down. Don't like it. Don't like it. Step Snubble. Reverse. Oh, it's a Jigglypuff. Cool. I'll probably actually sleeve that up. There's a Snivy and a Spoink. Spoink and Snivy. And on the end, see, now that's not a good one, but that's okay. I told you what, I can't be disappointed the rest of the stream. It doesn't get better than that. We got an excellent card. So for simplicity, uh, goes by N. What is the first part of that? His full name is Natural Harmonia Gropius. That doesn't sound like a real name, but I don't know enough to dispute it. I just don't. J C Co. Thank you, J Co. I appreciate it, dude. What was our big pull? I just joined. Um, it's the Charizard from Evolutions, the top pull. Big boy packs, big boy pulls. You know how it is. You just know how it is. Set this one off to the side. I bet we're going to get its counterpart in celebrations. I'm saying it right now, dude. I totally feel it. Dude, I got a Charizard, dude. Kind of sad you aren't in the shrimp suit like last night. I know, dude. I know. I'm never going to fuck up again, though. I told you. Plus, I had to eat cocktail sauce, you sons of bitches. All right, it's char time number two. I've missed it. Too many packs went by. I need another char. Wait, what the fuck is going on, dude? Uh oh, um, uh oh, Mr. Lugia, I do not feel so good. I am getting. This is the weirdest ETB. Are you seeing this printing error on the Lugia wing? Are you seeing this shit? What the hell is that? The hollow foil pattern is leaking through. That is weird. Error or a feature? I mean, I think it's an error. I hope that doesn't affect the rares. That was on the last one, too? Really? That is darker. That has to be darker. God damn it, you're going to make me pull out the Cosmomes now? That's also a misprint. How? This is the weirdest opening ever. Why is there fucking misprint in this shit? Reshiram. All right, I'm pulling out a Cosmom now. I think it's a lot more visible when you see one to compare it to. Okay, I'm digging through here. It is! I knew it! I knew it, dude! I told you it's darker. That's weird! What a weird thing! And it's only affecting Cosmog and Cosmoam the most. I think it's because they have that little, like, lighter face to compare it to. That's probably nothing special. It's Pokemon's quality control. It's a feature at this point. Yeah, not a bug. Not a bug. Alright, let's get another Charizard quick. Nope. <laughs> not at all. But on the end, 
No, not either. Well, there we go. It is a double banger pack, technically. SPF 15 versus F SPF 30. That's a good joke. Next error is a Mew, but blue. Dude, blue Mew would be chill. One of the top pulls in the old Setsky there, dog. Worth $99.99 bottles of vodka from my distillery. Okay, okay. Lugia drips are design, not error. Yeah, it's a feature, not a bug. We already said it. Absolutely. I like that optimistic approach to stuff. We all should take the uh, Todd Howard approach to life sometimes. It's a feature. I love. It's just like I don't even want to keep the evolutions regulars and with the rest of the shit. It feels like a sin. It feels like it's too good. Too, 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 and too good. What are the chances of you ever going for some real old packs? I'd do it a couple times if I found a pretty good deal, but it would already have to be a feature of like a bigger stream. Shit's expensive as, stu as hell, dude, and it's just oof. I don't usually grab a lot of the one old ones, but if I see something that's kind of cool and sexy, I might get it. M. Nobs, congrats on the Zard. What up, dude? Thank you. So expensive indeed. Come on now. It's Chonka Chew time. It's Pokey Chonka time. I wonder how many base set packs are left unopened. Base set first edition, dude? I don't know. I wonder how many of the Top Sun packs are still left unopened, you know? <clears throat> They're even earlier than that ones. Nessa. Nuzleaf. Wash Energy. Fanpy. Yanma. Galarian Meowth. Duskull. Voltorb. Little Reverse Charmander. I wish the centering is a little bit better. And on the end... Hey! Look at that! That's great! Finally, I have a good centered version of this. I will send that in. I don't even care how much that costs. That's probably a dollar or two. Sick! Oh, I love that Steelix card. I'm honestly, I'm gonna hard case that one. I really, really like that one. That's great centering. Finally, a perfectly centered Steelix V. This is one of my favorites. That is excellent, dude. It looks good. It just looks good. Holy shrimp, that's a nice one. Doesn't that look pretty, dude? Hard line styles, I'm telling you, all day. Techie, yeah, I got some that should be showing up in a week. Thanks for asking. Click, 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 click. That is a cute Steelix. Oh, I love that one. Angry man. Angry man. All right, set you over here. There we go. Extra box. Boom. What another silver tempest? See how that one works. Do you have any graded cards coming back soon? No, I actually haven't even sent any in yet. I keep forgetting. LL Strad, any more desert storm packs? I do have some. They're not in the house right now. They will be showing up in the next probably two, three days, I would guess. So probably going to have to push into next week. But if I have any tomorrow, we'll be opening them up on stream tomorrow. I'm most likely going to do like fallout uh new vegas for a few hours and then end the night on like some cool card pulls and shit you know that's most likely going to be the objective for tomorrow here we go absolutely snow blitz is correct snow blitz is correct low punny chin chow meditite do piter ponita great great art in the set too venonat jim trainer Armaldo, that sounds like a guy that lives down the hall from you. Hey, Armaldo. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Armaldo. Hey, man. Celebrations. What are you going to do with all the other cards that you don't send in? A couple things. I take long. I give them to my dad. He gives them away to students. I can't do it fast enough. Lugia. This one is also fucky. Is it supposed to be like this? I don't remember the celebrate. Do I have an older one from like yesterday's booster box in here or some shit? Wait, who the fuck put this Galarian Darmanitan V in the reverse hollow area? Probably Sven. <laughs> I say that as a joke, but also not even as a joke. All right, well, there's another weird ass Lugia. Oh, it's not a bit. Oh my God, that's hilarious. So that is not an error Lugia. That's just a regular Lugia. I just didn't notice that before for some reason. Probably because my brain was on high alert from the error cards before. Thank you, ZX. Well, another Cosmo. And this one does not appear to be affected by the darkening error, though. This one looks good. <clears throat> Dude! Yes! Okay! 
Dude, we take these. We fucking take these. Ted, you see what I'm seeing? Do we take these? Tell him, Ted. I don't want to tell him. You tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Go ahead, tell him. Hell yeah, we take them, baby. Thank you for confirming, Ted. There we go. I was like, I'm not moving on until Ted says. Dark Gyarados. That's excellent. That's a really excellent one. A very good upper end of mids uh, hit here. That's some strong 9 plus centering right there. I think it's looking good. I see a micro mount on the left, but I think it's looking pretty good there. Dollar 16 raw right there. I love the dark gear though. See if we get that Mew behind there. We don't, but we do get a little flying Pikachu V. I'm happy to see you, flying Pikachu. I like you. I do like you. Team Rocket be fucking. <laughs> yeah, I guess they do, dude. Dark Gyarados. Gorgeous. Little fly guy. Little fly guy. Slide this one on out. Dark Gyarados looks like he's rolling hard, bro. Is always rolling hard. Flying Pikachu V. There we go. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Yep, yep, yep. <coughs> throw that over there again everything after the charizard is just coasting this is all icing on top right now just icing <laughs> pop it on open dude i would love a goddamn lugia out of here please if i may if i might pull the card i pulled tonight here we go one two three four here's that v star card up front Dollar four Pikachu from Disney Pixar's Up Only in Theaters 2009. See, now that's a good meme, ZX. I like that one. Sunflora, how have I not registered this before? I just don't know. I've, I've opened Silver Tempest, uh, Tempest, obviously, here. I don't know how I've not recognized Sunflora before. I guess that other art just stood out. Togenomaru. Esper, the reverse is a Chin Chow. And on the end, it is a Phoebe from Friends. Is that what... The mana fee evolves into Fion, Fee, probably right. Fion, Fiony. How do you say it? I've never even noticed that one before. Cool Esper. Yeah, it is a cool Esper. I really like that kind of like hand knit design. Let's pull you in for a look on that. Actually, that's pretty badass. Esper, looking like Sackboy's cousin from Kentucky. Let's put that one down here. Alolan Vulpix. See if we can get another one. We got nice of Alolan Vulpix V Star out of here yesterday. Ugh, backwards. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Code card. Sack cat. I like that. I'd buy that as a stuffed animal. Dude, that would be a cute one. What Pokemon would you want if you had a stuffed animal of it? I got the Denny, so I'm taken care of. He's in the background over there. He's just chilling, smoking Marlboro Reds. You know him. Manaphy doesn't evolve from that one. You can breed a Manaphy to get a Fioni, but they don't evolve. Good to know. Gus, please, my gamer balls are full of piss. Um, I'm shocked yours aren't. I'm Honestly, with all the heat, particularly the Charizard, I just have forgotten to be drinking any water and stuff. Like, I've just been so locked into the next thing that I just have less, uh, you know, gas in the tank. V-Guard energy. You can go take a piss there, ZX. It's okay. Go step away, dog. Sandile. Swirlix. Marini, Indeedy, these are just pee pee poo poo names, Ball Toy, Golbat, and it's a Victini. They're all like me, 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 me. Victini, that's a cool one, dude. Hitting you with the live long and prosper Victini, bro. I like it. Cool Bell Toy, too. I know, dude. Honestly, there's some good arts tonight. We're opening some sets with good arts. So, and, and some of you guys might say, Oh, well, I think that all of the sets have good arts. Or blah, blah, blah. Why do, what differentiates that? I'll tell you some sets I don't like of the arts. Rebel Clash. Ick. Sword and Shield Base. Ick. Battle Styles. Mm, not a lot. Steam Siege. Ick. Nope, not Steam Siege. I'm thinking of... Um, Fates Collide. Nope, Furious Fates. Furious? I don't know. I thought I had four examples. I'll just give you the ones I said. Pee Pee Poo Poo is the best thing that you can do for yourself. Uh, tell that to ZX right now. <laughs> I think ZX needs a break like that, dude. Clang, Claydol, Emolga, Meditite, Durant. Oh, bro, what the hell is going on back here? Somebody, literally, this is a Durant running away from the homeowner spraying his kin with raid. The last of the Durants, dude. Get out of here. Get out of here. Pre-raid Durant, Ralts. Fletchling, 
Swirlix, Miss Magus. Kind of scary, but not too pricey, dude. I'm going to do more quests on Fallout, and then I'm going to go to Sleepy's. Inflit, thank you for being here, and thanks for the sub bomb hype after the Charizard, dude. Do a little Fallout. I don't know if you're signing off, but appreciate you being here, dude. Excuse me. I love that song, Hungry Like an RK9 by Durant Durant. All right, good meme. Is it on the Niner wall? No. But it's great. That's a 7-7 seven, seven right there, dude. One, two, three, four. How great is this rain vibe, too, by the way? I'm loving it. Can you hear it? Do you hear the rain uh, piping in underneath? Is it coming through? Serena. The tennis player? Yep, it's doing good. Okay, good. Duosian. What the hell kind of Matilda-ass bullshit's going on here, Duosian? Get out of here. Ralts. A perfect five out of seven. There you go. Spinda getting high as hell. Spinda on the shrooms. We got Pikachu. Noibat. The reverse happens to be, after the Toga tomorrow, the reverse happens to be a Dreepy. Whoa, I don't remember this art. That's kind of cool. You got the seasick crocodile Dreepy here. I can't even tell what he's sitting on. Some Pokemon shit that is obviously missing its fan service on me. Yo, Squiggles the Duck. Good timing, my friend, because you came in for a good hit. Squiggles, I'm so sorry. <laughs> nope, didn't happen. Crobat, it's something, though. It's technically a hollow, so it's not a full strikeout, dude. Gus, please do Jersey Mike's commercials with Danny DeVito. I'm actually busy that day, but I'll just keep eating them pretty much every single other day. Does that sound fair? Crobat, taking them. Mew, Mew, overdue. I agree. We're at Mew number 35 now. I still can't believe that, dude. Oh, yeah, the Rain Plus music feels like I'm an Animal Crossing waiting for Tom Nook to open his store. I like that vibe. That sounds like a vibe that we're trying to emulate. Cool. All right. We're keeping the, the cards coming right now, dude. Gus, I think you'd really enjoy playing Borderlands 2. I like Borderlands 2. I've played that before. How rainy is it for you? Um, I actually don't even know if it's raining right now. I just made the vibe rainy, but it's supposed to rain tonight, I think. Pop it on open. Come on. Here we go. Boink. One, two, three, four to the front. I think this one's going to have a hit in it. I think it's going to have a hit in it. We would love a Lugia. ZX says it's pouring buckets today for you. The little DVD logo reminds me of Jazz Emu's song about the DVD logo hitting the corner of the TV. There you go. There you go. Keep an eye on it, won't you? We need you to check if it ever hits the corner. Miss Drevis. Whalmer. Murkrow. The reverse is a furisode girl. And on the end. My wow. Not great. 86 cents, I'm going to guess. Right now, I bet I'm dead nuts on the money. And I'm not even saying that from a perspective of having pulled that tonight. That's just a complete guess. I've not pulled this in a few streams. My wow, V. Miles Monos is 69 cents. Pretty close. Pretty close. Definitely under a dollar, though. Definitely. Oh, I forgot I had these. Check this out. Yo, enough of this bullshit. We're going to do a cool pack. We're doing a Psych Cinderella pack. Kiss my ass. Going for a Gus Gus card. Going for another castle card. Hopefully an easier one than this time. The last castle card did not have an A on it. I couldn't find where to start the process. I wanted to play and engage with the product. I couldn't do it. Cinderella, Cinderella. Down the gullet in my belly. Let's go. I'm eating every single card that I don't like. That's a promise. I'm eating every single card that I don't like. Turning it around. Let's see what this first one is. Come on, dude. We're hoping for a Gus Gus. That's the top pull. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, that's not Gus Gus, is it? Gus Gus is the fat mouse. This is a regular mouse here. God damn it. This one has a maze on it. I can't figure this shit out. Give me easier stuff to do. Ugh. We got uniform mouse, though. What's this guy's name? I don't even know. We'll figure it out, dude. Here we go. Here we go. Uniform mouse. His name is Bus Bus. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. That's a cool frame. Ooh, glossy too. Jack Jack? But that's Incredibles baby name. That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make sense. 
Cinderella, get you out of here. Oh, the mice are running from this errant pumpkin. Splasher 325, we're almost at a complete year, dude. Cheers to that, Splasher. Guys, the fucking sub love has been off the rails tonight. Thank you, dude. Which tits goes, run, my son. Splasher, thank you so much again. Almost a year. We'll see you next month for that one, dog. Whoa! Oh, what's going on here? They chose really lame frames for a lot of these, didn't they? What a weird lame frame that they're choosing. Seems like you got a lot of choice over what you feature on the... You know what? Never mind. We're having fun. It's a Disney vacation. In the comfort of our own home. That's just Cinderella looking at some weird-ass dog. I don't like not being able to see the dog's hands. Let's go ahead and move past it. Like, that's shit. What are these frames? That's shit. And on the end... Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Cinderella. Here we go. Cinderella and the princess waltz into, or and the prince waltz out into the palace gardens. They sing to themselves of how wonderful it feels to be in love. The waltz ends and they stroll to a peaceful bridge and gaze into the blue water of a peaceful brook. They are about to kiss when suddenly the clock strikes 12 and the chimes remind Cinderella of her fairy godmother's warning. Don't eat pepperoni pizza past 12 p.m. You have terrible acid reflux. You forgot your Pepsi. Come home. Sincerely, Fairly Godmother. All right, Brilliant Stars time. Let's get hard for the Zard. Wait a minute, does every... I didn't realize. I had like five of these that I bought from Rite Aid, and it was just the Charizard on front. Pretty epic. Squiggle says, I actually met the Disney animator who created the seagull from The Little Mermaid this past weekend. That's so specific that I'm not even going to assume that you're lying. That's a cool meme. Uh, who would lie about that? It's so specific. I like that. Was it good? <laughs> How was it for you? How was meeting the Disney animator who designed the seagull from Little Mermaid for you? I was at a convention. Oh, that sounds cool. Uh -huh. Excuse me. All right, here we go. Brilliant stars. We're hoping for some heat. I feel like there's at least one more Charizard out there for us tonight. Something feels like it. I hear echoes to the wind, okay? One, two, three, four. I think there's another Charizard. I'm not saying I need it. I don't. I don't need it. I definitely don't need it. I need it! Kindler, Primplup. Is that a fucking base set char in the background? No, Shraff Daddy, but for the record, it is an XY Evolutions char. Still excellent. Not same ballpark. Still fucking great. But different. Rylu. Starly. Milsery. Carablast. Don't do it. Clefairy. Halucha. And on the end. Whoa, that's a cool card. Flygon V. Whoa, I'm just. Wow, I can't imagine that's an insane amount of value, but how cool is that card? Damn, that looks sick. Flygon V. Oh, man. Isn't that the Jedi that trains Obi-Wan, I think? Pretty good. $1.55. We'll sleeve him up. He's ready to attack. Get in there, dog. Centering could be better. That's still cool, though. Get him in. Love it. My Uber driver knew a guy who acted with the actor who played MLK Jr. in the movie Selma. That's a good connection of a connection, dude. My Uber driver knew a guy who acted with the actor... Wait, yeah, what the fuck? I assume you're doing a bit. That's a good bit. If not, even funnier. Even funnier, dude. I mean, all right, brilliant stars again. I got to see what else we got in these char packs here, dude. Fly gone is Bulbasaur Charizard. Never thought of it that way. Ooh, look, like father or son. Don't talk to me or my son ever again. Yada, 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 get out of here. Boink. I knew a guy who was an extra in Matrix Reloaded. Okay, that's the top one so far. Wait, never mind. You just got bested. Zepho4 says, I know a guy. Pack it up, boys. That's it. That's it. That's the top one. That's the coolest one. Are you going to get any of that new Japanese Pokemon V set with, like, Dialga, Arcea, Arceus, Palkia, Giratina Vs? Oh, dude, we've already opened, like, five, six boxes of those. They're getting restocked locally around me tomorrow. I'm so stoked. We'll probably have some for the Friday night stream. Son of a Mitch goes, I'm a guy somebody knows. Oh, damn. You're the, you're the guy from the thing? Oh, cool. Skeletor says, I was in second grade with one of the kids and cheaper by the dozen. I bet that kid was such an asshole on the playground. 
Oh, I don't need to wait in line for the slide. I was featured in the hit uh, comedy mu movie with Steve Martin, uh, Cheaper by the Dozen. That's what I'd say if I was that kid. Burloin, Duskull, Sneasel, Corefish, the reverse is a Crawdont, bro. We are evolving. And on the end. Darn it. Uh, Escavalier, that's okay. Scootish, dude! Scoot! Bro, I fucking got the char from Evolutions! I haven't opened an Evolutions pack in two years! In two years! I got one pack. I found a Meowth VMAX box, made in 2020, featuring... I found it for $50, I don't know fucking how. It, it had a Unified Minds pack, two Cosmic Eclipse packs, and one XY Evolutions pack. For 50 bucks, that's insane! That's insane, dude! One pack, I opened it up, Charizard. Boom. Boom. Should have been here, bro. You changed, man. Should have been here. Oh, I'm saying I wanted him to go the opposite way. <laughs> I switched. Miles Mono was here. Where were you? Miles was here. What the fuck, bro? Bro, you're straight different, dude. Straight up different. These days. From how you were? Straight different, dude. Haley was here. You changed, bro. I was playing Halo with the fucking voice. Is this Scoot? There you go. <laughs> what, dude? What up, Cyrenic? Were you here for this, Cyrenic? The fucking my top pull from my own cards ever in my entire life? Were you here? Careful with my Charizard. I want that back. Hey, man. I said don't pop into the stream and say that. Tell him after, okay? Just let me live in the moment a little bit. <laughs> ZX says, if we're doing weird connections, my grade 12 English teacher was in a barbershop quartet with Adam... Driver, Kylo Ren. Oh man, there you go. Maybe that is the top one. Jenny from the block. Uh Scoot goes, that was insane and true. And true. Here we go. Flipping it around. Last brilliant stars pack I think I have in the house. I don't know yet. I gotta take a little piss break after this though. Grodel. Berry. Clang. Shroomish. Purloin. Sneasel. Duskull. Core fish. Do Whoa, what the fuck? This is the weirdest night of Pokemon card pulls ever. How are we getting error cards in multiple sets? Look at that misprint. This isn't really probably worth anything. It is cool that it's on a reverse though. But dude, like we're getting sh weird misprint stuff out of multiple sets tonight that aren't even in the same products and boxes. Yes, I am wiping my little tiny bit of spit off of that. Do I feel bad about it? I just don't. I just don't. I'm not ripping it. I do trust it. But that is weird as shit. Double turbo energy. I might sleeve it. I just, I can't imagine that's altered enough to be any value. That, that's not worth anything. But on the end, go lurk. Ah, oh, weird. Well... I mean, all right. Double turbo energy. Kind of weird. I'm dying. I'm dying. All right. I got to go piss here. We got some cool little fuckers in chat right now. You stick around. All right. I'll be gone by like three, four minutes. No need to do prediction battle. I'll be pretty good. I'll be disciplined. We'll see you in a sec. All right.
Hey guys, here I am, sorry about that. I 
know it took a little bit longer. Um, hey, uh, I'm, I'm sorry it took a long time. Um, I just, uh, everything's okay for right now, but I just learned that like a family friend of ours uh, who's very, very close had a heart attack and we're just gonna kind of keep an eye on it right now. Um, they're back in Wisconsin. Uh, I'm gonna probably jump off right now and just kind of hang out with like Sven and stuff and you know, our mom's up and just kind of letting us know. Um, but you know, I, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it over here. I'm sorry, by the way, I, if you were doing bits and stuff, you know, too, again, like we're just kind of keeping an eye on it. I just feel like I need to go do that right now. Um, so I, I appreciate folks coming here. Thank you, Cyrenic and, and Scootish and stuff for swinging through at the end. I honestly, I had a lot of fun today. We're, we're, we're kind of staying positive and stuff. We're gonna, we're gonna hope here, but um, it is a really close family friend, um, and, and he had a heart attack. So we're gonna, we're gonna just, you know, it, it, you just kind of like sit together and stuff, and we'll, we'll just see if like mom sends us any update stuff from the hospital. So um, I really appreciate you guys being here tonight. Um, depending on kind of what happens, I think uh, with that situation or something too, I might not be on stream tomorrow evening. But if I am, we'll probably play some Fallout and just do some like kind of fun card stuff, you know. But uh, I'm just gonna just go hop off over here. Thank you. I hope you guys are having a nice night. Um, have a good Thursday and Friday. Uh, sorry I'm jumping off a little bit early, but I appreciate you very much. I, I think I'm, we're going to do, like, no raid and probably just end here tonight. So, thank you guys. Um, go see. I see, like, Trey's on right now. I'm sure. I don't know if Caden's on. You know, go check out some people. But, anyway, have a good rest of your evening, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Uh, check out probably, this is not me, like, trying to be a pluggy idiot or whatever, but if I'm not on tomorrow, if you want to update or some shit, like, I'll probably put it on my Instagram story or whatever. Um, anyway, have a good rest of your night, guys. Much love to all you and yours, okay?